thanks to Tabletop Audio for letting us use their awesome music. And to Cedric over at Yag for hooking us up with some keys. All right, so last time you guys left off here, you were sneaking Fareem back to your village. So you are arriving back at your village now. Oh, thank God. If I had to spend one more minute on that boat... <laughs> Alright, so uh, this whole time, too, Fareem has been not, not been getting better. He's not really been getting worse, but he's not been getting better. You probably think it's some poison from the spider jailers. So he's still looking a little poisoned and weak. Yes, they were in the grinding wastes last time. We better get into the village. You guys all have your character controls, right? Yeah, I do, yeah. All right. I'm just going to follow you with... Odin. All right, yeah, I, I'm just uh, entering in some shit, because I just realized you sent me the, the template. Okay. I'm going to move your character for you then. All right, yeah. Do that. All right. Uh, Ultra, as you come into the village on that side, stop up there. You notice that the guards are missing. Spooky. All right. I suggest we speak to the local lord. Okay. Heading over there. Where is everyone? <laughs> okay. You can see Billy playing over by the well. And you see a dwarf currently shopping at the local merchant. Good. <gasps> what if we kill Billy and then Odin can get to let him, then this water can play with us? That's a lot. Let's just speak to the Lord. No one? Alright, you're here. No one? Alright, fine. Alright, good morning, I suppose. He just nods at you morning. I hope you're satisfied. Very. We found the right for error of end yet. Well, in the process, you've lost us our protection. The mercenaries went to work for the king of Anjet because he was threatened, apparently, by you. What? I didn't... Noodle? I have threatened no king, as he is no king. Well, whoever he is, he now has the protection of the most powerful mercenary in the land. Wait, all I said was that he was sus. It was it was our all right, oh, did our you... little friend who. No, no it was it my, was Ultra. My fault. No, it was Ultra. Who... <laughs> oh, Ultra did it. I thought it was um Odin. No, I I no, threatened. Okay. There we go. I was very aggressive. Oops, sorry. Uh, Fareem's just kind of hanging back. Just very quiet. And he goes over to lean on the, the fence while you talk. Just keeping quiet. Do you know where the Huntress went? She rode north. She's still scouting out the territory up north and she hasn't come back yet it's been a few days she left shortly after you did anything weird happened here in the past few days oh you mean other than being deserted by our only protection no yes 
Oh, you mean their urgent attention? Well, this is your village too. Or are you leaving us now? Abandoning us? We won't, but we might leave the village to find the Huntress. We want to exp well, we want to know more about the mysteries that have been surrounding this place. Well, you'll just have to wait for her then. Anyways, who's the dwarf by the market? I don't know. I don't ask everybody their names. I've got too much work to do. Well, given you've lost all your protection, every pair of hands might be valuable. Well then, go and recruit him for us then. You know what? I'll do it right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move you over there, Odin. I hear you. somebody clicking. Alright. Oi, Gimli, join up, hi. Gimli. Oi, my name's Aiden. Not Gimli, lad. Although, you do look like you have a pretty pity on you. Do you happen to need the services of Butcher or a Rogue? At this point, we take any service. Yeah. Well, excellent. Indeed. My cooking's not the greatest, but you'll get some fine cuts of meat out of anything we find. What's the rumor, Destructive? Well, we have a vegetarian in our party. Aren't they? Who's the vegetarian? I'm assuming um, it's... I'm referencing Odin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No harm to animals, guys. Come on. None yet. So, uh, we're replacing our, our old, uh, our old gnome with this one, I see. All right, distract him. This is a dwarf, not a gnome. Oh, okay. Right. One one little guy for another. I have you know, I am quite the stout little bugger. Give you a right pop on the nose. But wait, I love that. What are you doing here? Me? I'm looking for some Cyanese. What are you doing here? What is Cyanese? Cyanese? Shh. Coin man. Coin. Have you never heard of coin? I thought you said Chinese. Chinese? Well, no, Chinese. You know oh, the Chinese cat? No. I don't care. Are you, are you serious? Chinese is what he's <laughs> saying. Chinese. Like, shiny things. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, I thought he said Chinese. Gotcha. You know like the Chinese cat? Gotcha. Gotcha. Chinese. Gotcha. Right. So, uh, can you fight? Oh, yeah, I can do that a bit. I have uh, received my training. Happened to be a rogue. Hmm. And do you have a weapon? I do. I have a dagger. Nice, nice. No nuts. Ah, uh, well, the family took my axe. They didn't particularly like what I tried doing with it the one day. Mm, slaughtering, slaughtering animals with the axe. They, they, they took rather poor fancy to that. Need to get him a nagger. Hey, we got. hey, now, we we can't have a, we can't have an animal killer with us. <laughs> we will be delighted to have you in our team. I thank you. Although I. It does seem to be a rather inefficient thing, but uh, one of your members doesn't particularly like me. You know, it is a trade. It does provide for the family. 
well, the prize for most of us. I'll stay away from Billy. There's only okay. one requirement. Allow me to okay. introduce you to Billy. Come with him. Alright, I suppose I follow you. Okay, I want to use I want to use B speaker on on. Oh, God. <laughs> Luckily, there's no B speaker oh. in this game. Darn. <laughs> no. You got rid of me. Well, I didn't get rid of it. The game got rid of it. Thank goodness, too. We want to revert but... back to the previous system now. <laughs> no. Can can I get a perception check on this goat, please? And thank you. What do you want a perception check on the goat? Uh, gender. And, yeah, but like, what do you, what do you want to what do you want to know about it? You well, want to know where it's male or female? It's male, apparently. So this is your companion you have. Good to know. Wait, so this is Billy. You may kill him if you wish. Well. I don't think it would be very kind to kill a long lass's companion like that. Goat lives. You I guys. get rather bored at night. <laughs> oh my god. If it helps, they paid what? 15 gold? Nobody's even it? taking damage yet. Well, if you kill this goat, we're gonna throw you down the well. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up and throw you down the well. Toss. It might toss. be a little hard for you to do. Yeah, rather a stealth braid. Maybe we with the dwarves. Kind of heavy sided. As you can tell from my magnificent belly. I eat quite well. Nope, goats can't talk, distract them. At any rate, what do you use it for other than. Uh, companionship, young ass. Cheese. What? What else do you use it for? What else? What else do I use for? Um... Cheese. Yeah. I mean, um, for yeah. goat goat milk, you know. You get goat milk out of a male. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. cheese that you've been eating, Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, mm. all, all, I, sure. all I need is companionship from from Billy. <laughs> um, oh, that's good. To okay, know. this is not <laughs> sound warm, but she wise to go sometimes. I I understood that. <laughs> At any rate, now that we know what it's for, ah. What shall we be doing? Well, I think we have more important matters to attend to. Let's talk to some of the villagers. Alright, well. I'll just tag along then. If we can find any. Oh, there you are. I'm going to the tavern. Oh, actually, I'm going to go to, to, uh, to the prince. Go right. to the prince as well. Nukem, where do you want to go? With the tavern or the prince? Ah, uh, let's go to the tavern. I am a dwarf after all. All right. I mean, Aiden. Yes. I got to remember Aiden. Yes, thank you. Aiden all right. All right. I'm tavern first because I'm lazy and I'm right here. Oh. Alexander. I have to take this carefully. The owner doesn't quite like me. <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god, every single time you mention it! Alright. Good Bye. morning, lad. How are all of you today? Uh, the, uh, the guy drinking kind of lifts his drink to you. The uh, innkeeper, she storms off. And uh, the other familiar face you see across the table it says, uh, good morning, or actually good afternoon. I don't know what time of day it is. So I wanted to, to thank you guys for freeing me the other day, and I had to wander around and find out that you were here. 
I wanted to come thank you in person. You're welcome. Doing right, there are both things, aren't you? Well, I suppose that's a good thing. Well, I wanted to see if I could do anything to re repay your kindness. Well, we would like to know a bit more about where the, first of all, where all the guards went. I've heard they went to end yet. Yes, they left the same day that I arrived. They were paid a better sum, I suppose, by the king there. I suppose we'll start this conversation over with some ales as well. With what? Ales, man. Ales. Ales. Well, you can you can call the innkeep back out. Keeper, yeah, might I have an ale, please? Pint right. at least. You can hear her. She comes outside. Says, "All right." Need, but not for him. And she points it. Alexander. And she oh, goes back you. inside to fix your drink. And you do not hear her spit in it. All right, she comes back out and just puts the drink on the table and slides it over and puts it squarely in front of Aiden and then walks back. Disappears. I like sniff at it and then I take a swig. I think as long as I don't uh, smell anything nasty. No, looks it looks clean, as as clean as things get. Excellent. Down the hatch it goes in. So, have you heard anything about a huntress? I have not. I gathered she's somewhat in charge of things here. The noble doesn't seem like he's interested in lending much of a hand. Have you seen any odd occurrences the past few days in terms of like weird lightning, a blue light, whatever? No, but on occasion at night I still see that monster, those eyes that I saw around the cow. It comes close and... I can't quite make it out, but I still see the eyes. And just looking at me. It keeps its distance. You say it's some kind of beast, right? Yes, it appears to be that way. But again, it hides in the shadows and... It's just out of reach. And if I move towards it, it disappears. It's almost... And it seems to hunt at night. It seems that way. That's when I see it most at the moment well that's the only time I've seen it at night I did hear a rumor that I uh, sort of came this way that there was a troll or giant something rolling around the forest here did you happen to see anything no I know there are goblins nearby but I've heard no such thing of trolls or giants. That's just a rumor I heard when I was on my way here. I was going to wait around until you or somebody showed up. I didn't want to leave the village defenseless with the troll roaming That's around. That's very but noble of you. Well, it's the least I can do. Do you have anything to add, Aiden? No. I was just wondering how uh, how high off the ground on the ice were. Uh, perhaps the same as me, a little higher, maybe. It's hard to tell, but definitely somewhat tall. Did it seem to be hunched over at all? I couldn't say. Good out, okay. Mm. Oh, well. Any smells? Nothing unusual. 
It doesn't but ever not. get that close. Little pencil thing as well. I'll have to thank you for your information and your presence here will be of service to the town. I'm glad to help. It's the least I could do after you freed me from potential death sentence. Well, I'll be on my way as I don't expect to be served here. <laughs> Just nods his head and, and smiles a little bit. Hashtag blame constant. That was not my fault. It was you. You wore the dice. That it was the dice's fault. It was not my fault that he got. Uh, Aiden, do you want to stay here? What do you want to do? Uh, I'll uh, thank the man for the drink and follow after. Okay. All right. Odin and Archer. Uh, Alright, so I'm talking to this guy right here. Alright, go for it. Yeah, let's so do it. No, I still feel a little weak. Actually, she's better from this side. I still feel a little weak. From that time, the venom the spiders inject you with is meant to keep you still and compliant. It's hard to shake. You can still feel it a little bit. Are you going to be fine? I'm not sure. I've never been captured by spiders and kept in a cocoon or a web or whatever it was before. Do you know of any healers? Uh, am I a healer? No. I'm not a healer. No. What do you be need in the services of an apothecary or a, a herbologist? More than a healer. I'm not sure. I'll take whatever I could get at this point. Wait, I can't oh, use yeah. recovery on him, right? I can only use it on myself. Yeah, what does the talent say? Uh, uh, Is it self recovery? As. You can use an action to heal damage equal to your healing rate and regain one casting you expect. Yes, correct. It's just yourself. Damn it. So I don't think any so I don't think any of us are healers. Nope. You probably I like suggest is to rest for now. And maybe talk to speak to the local lord and see if he has any contacts. Yeah. Uh, for him just sort of nods at you and... oh he might want to drink a lot of water by the way see if it'll uh, get out of his system All right, I'll... I can think of work for beer I don't think it was like that well um Oh man! <laughs> roll, uh, I, all I, all I, of you roll a d twenty. A d twenty. Actually, not okay. Newcomb. You're gonna have to roll for me. Uh, yeah, you don't roll it because you would have, you would not know. Only the other three would at the moment. Uh, just one one d twenty. Just one d twenty. You have to use the standard dice thing because I forgot all about it in the character sheets. Who do you want to re-roll? You have to be specific. Whoops. So, uh, also with this system, 10 is always the uh, the number for a non-adversarial challenge. So, 6, 8, and 12. Odin. Well, you don't know yet. <sighs> okay, well. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the guy over there that you don't know about yet. He, he, never mind, I can't tell you yet. When the time comes, you'll know. So... I, I messed up that. But what, go for it. What? God damn it! I'm I can't help it. It's I'm it's all right. I'm gonna go run over here. Nope. Finish your conversation. Oy. Can I perceive Can... on this? Perceive what? What you're mentioning? No, you would. You have no idea. No, no way of knowing. 
Oh, can I perceive what her species is, by the way? Hers? Everybody's human. I... Human? Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, good. I was afraid of the other one. <laughs> that would have been a good rumor. This is medieval. Right. Um. So you rolled for wait. Hey, can Wamsi. I, uh, I want to take out the, the gem I have and ask him if he okay, knows Wamsi. anything about it. So, uh, his, what's his name? Farim? Yep. Farim, I, I have this, uh, this gem here that, uh, I retrieved from, from a room in your, uh, your father's castle. Do you know anything about it? Um, he looks at the gem and says, uh, belonged to my father's best friend back during the Goblin War many years ago. Do you know what it is? Well, he was a, a warlock or a witch or something. He practiced the dark arts like my father did. Interesting. Yeah. Do you know anything about a big circle? No, I don't. Your father you... seemed awfully nervous when we asked about it. Well, you said my father was killed. Yes, he was. And and then he gave you that crystal. No, it actually... Uh, yes, he did. He gave us access to his treasury room as he was dying. Did he say anything else? He told us upon you. I see. He said that you you were following the marauders and would know more about them. The marauders? We, don't know what the marauders are? we know all about the Marauders. I'm not sure. He, Do they have if, any ties to an Archmage? Well, his friend was married to an Archmage. She was also estranged, shall we say, later, after the Goblin War. So it might be possible that the Marauders and the Archmage that it currently rules in Enyet might be cooperating. Perhaps. I'm not I don't really think so. Who who is the king now in Enjet? Anas <laughs> Some sort of imposter. Well, did anything unusual happen when my yes. father, before my father died. Yes. Well, there was um, first of all, a mysterious ship in the harbor. Mysterious ship? And. Yeah. Stands. For it again. With some beast like beings. On lizards? It. They had some business with the king. Wait. The lizards were. No, the last the time, right? Yeah. yeah, I was telling that to Damien. The lizards were the last time. So uh, say uh, say like, what you said again, Ultra. I couldn't. I couldn't quite hear you clearly. I'm sorry. Yeah, like a ship with like beast people on it, and like there was one lady among them. <laughs> oh, the bears! The yeah, the bears. Yes. It was quite secretive. Hmm. Do you know what that business might have been about? Not exactly sure. Was that all? Is there anything else unusual? Anything else well, out of the ordinary? Well, the Archmage I told you about actually resurrected skeletons that night and claimed the king was killed by just the marauders, even though the Archmage seemed to have a hand in it. It doesn't... I don't, I don't know any trouble with Archmages that my father had. Is that all? A mysterious visitor and some 
Archmage. Well, one more thing. There have been sightings of a mysterious creature that seems to be killing cattle in the area of Antjet, but also here. Hmm. Any word on what it was? Well, the only man that knows is by the tether. Oh, the only thing he has seen was that it was about his height and had glowing eyes. It doesn't ring a bell. Did anything else specific happen? Uh, you're gonna have to roll. You're missing. <laughs> That's such an important one. Well, roll uh, intellect. If I know something. Yeah. If oh well, yeah, did anybody else remember anything else that he didn't cover? Before we go to uh, rolling. Circle. Um, that. Turn that gem that cursed Ultra. Um. Well, we had the Rider of Death. The what? The Rider of Death that was on the hill. Oh, yeah, that. You, you uh, said there state. was a Rider of Death? I yeah, did. like some kind of skeleton knight. Can I, oh, can no, I see that crystal again, please? Uh, sure. My father, long ago, said he fought those Riders of Death when they first came over here. Or when they first started conquering, and he was... That's where he met his friend who used to own that crystal. And he said if something ever happened to him and the Riders came back, that we would have to go find his friend. Oh, do you know where this friend would be? Yes, he imprisoned his friend in a mountain passage north of here, and then walled it off after the Great Goblin War. Was his friend human? I'm not exactly sure. He didn't talk about him much. He was quite, uh, quite the villain he turned into. He was a traitor and cost a lot of lives. Well, I do know the Huntress went up north. Maybe Guys. she went there. Guys. I think, I think that wasn't, wasn't that, um, wasn't that mountain pass? Didn't we go to the North mountain pass before? No, no. you went to the Northern village. Uh, actually I take that back. You went to, there's two villages North of you. You went to the one directly North. And I believe, Nim, or no, you went to, yeah, you went to the village north and then went to the, the ranch, the cattle farm. Where we met those goblins. Right. <laughs> it's fake. Okay. I think I know something constant. Well, tell them. Yeah, do tell them. I have a, wait, sorry, my sister's being off. Also, Wobachubs, you didn't ask me a question. I have a an idea that the beast that we encountered in that cave might actually be the king's friend. What makes you think that? Well, that mm. would make well it was in the north, wasn't it? No, you... it was near Bone Drift. Yep. It was all the way down south. Yeah. Oh shit! All the way on the other side of the, I guess it's the. Continent. Never mind. Then. Well, yeah, I don't know. The wolf that but, you nearly killed me. But I, I, I do have a. I also have a, an idea that maybe. That might be the thing killing the cows. Livestock. Well, I would not expect it to travel that far on foot. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's just to give you an idea. It was a it was a two day sail to get to the grinding wastes from here. So you would have. It has been two days and then two more days to get back here. So it's been four or five days since you left the last adventure, just traveling and smuggling Fareem back to here. Okay. Disregard, then. Disregard. There is an overland passage. It would have just taken much longer going overland as opposed to sailing. So it's... Well... So maybe... It's possible, but like he, he just said, he just told you, it's it's it was sealed. The passage was sealed. This one here. Oh, the uh, the path that the the north passage sealed. Yes. Okay. After the so, Goblin War. What if the Huntress is where the King's friend is? I'm thinking the same thing. I have I have one more question actually for Fareem here. Okay. So Fareem, at your hometown, there was this. Uh, I noticed there was a sacrificial table. Uh, do you know anything about that? It's something that my father had brought over with him from his previous kingdom. It was just part of their culture they had at the time, and it's just something they eventually sort of adopted and just stuck with. I see. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Prince, in your city, there is a three-headed hydra. Can I have it? I don't know anything about a three-headed hydra. I hear those tastes were rather wonderful when you barbecue them. No. <laughs> what do you mean no? Have you had them before? Nukem's gonna want to cook everything. I have not. This is not a hydra I wish to eat. This they is a hydra actually, I wish to keep. They rescued him last game. What so do you he... want it as a companion? Just like the miss. Yes, so I can have someone play him. <laughs> Wait for I want to go over here now and talk to the guy. I'm going to talk to the guy. Okay. Anybody else got any more questions over here? No, I don't. No, I'm good. All right. What was that? Okay, Odin. What was what? What was that? What was what? Where's that? Over here? No, I'm hearing something. Like, some kind of screeching. Yeah, there is some kind of screeching going on. Could that be the music? Uh, I don't hear anything. Could, could that be, be the music? Yeah, yeah, it could be music. It could be the music, I don't know. <laughs> How high do you have that music turned up? I don't know, you guys are crazy. Well, uh, <laughs> low enough that I can hear you and music at the same time. It's the troll from the woods is what chat says. That's what it could be. It might be. You can go investigate. I hear the faint sounds of destructum in the distance. <laughs> Trollstructum. Oh. Trollstructum, I like that. All right, Odin, you're here. All right. Hey, you look familiar. Now, Odin, your your role that I had you prematurely roll last time, this is the paladin that you met in Anjit two adventures ago. The, the one who fights undead. Paladin. Oh, it sounds that. like it's going to be good. What? <laughs> yes, you know what a paladin is. I know, but when... What? Okay, what is a paladin? Oh my god, you were the guy standing in front of the... In front of the weird three-headed dragon thing. Yes. Yes, but the one that nearly got you. What does a paladin do? I don't know. <laughs> All right, what, what is a paladin? I don't know. Oh, a knight. God. Okay, just a knight? A religious. W what do paladins do in World of Warcraft? We'll break this down for you, Milk Mutum. They... I don't play World of Warcraft. They... Oh, wait, no, they shoot the king. They what? 
Because right. shout out to Kino, right? Well, yes, but... Not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. I mean, the only world of nothing. It's not that kind of game, Patrick. Okay, paladins are half melee warriors and half... Healers? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I I figured it out. I'm a little slow. Oh, and I want to uh, sing, they dance, cheers. and they lerve. Hey, do you are a healer, correct? I, a, a little bit, yes. That started you, my journey as a priest. Do you think you can help our, our friend over here? Someone ban Wazzy, please. He's in please. need of um, some healing. He was uh, poisoned by some spiders. Um, sure, I'm glad to help. Sure, uh, awesome. Follow me. All right. All right. He just takes a look at him. He's like, "I'll um, I'll tend to him and treat him. I'll uh, I'll do everything I can for him. It is the least I can do again to repay your kindness for freeing me from the the prison." Hi. Does that sound awesome for him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys hear a horse charging in behind you very quickly. And you hear it come to a skid. Just one more thing. Oh. The Hydra, I want it. He's not going to get it. He does not. I want the Hydra. I Can I do the perception it. check on this horse? See whether or not I feel it's dangerous to us. You want to know his gender? <laughs> Why are you going... Oh my god, what? Why do you always want to know the gender? <laughs> I didn't say nothing uh, about the gender. <laughs> it's, it looks like no, a I... horse. Alright, you see Nim get off. She looks very badly wounded. And she uh, sort of collapses uh, into ground next to the horse. Oh, someone's had a bit of fun over there. Seems. I wonder how many years she's had to get there. Alright. I rush to her side. Okay. Same. What the hell? All right, Alexander. Yes, can I inspect her wounds? Her what? Oh, you, you said she was um, Sounded yeah. like you said, can I inspect her boobs? <laughs> That's what I thought he said. <laughs> That's what yeah. I heard. <laughs> no, I heard wounds. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, wounds, wounds. All right. Yes, she she looks I... she looks pretty badly beaten up. She's got some slashes, some stab marks in her uh, one of them in her leg. She looks she's got lots of bruises. She looks very dirty and, and tired. And she uh, she hands you her bow, puts her hand on your hand and your bow and her bow in your hand. Okay, she kind of squeezes a little bit. She says, "Tell Nora." chat it's ridiculous sorry and uh you you feel a, a little bit of a warm sensation with her bow in your hand it that's not painful but you can you can tell there's definitely something uh, about the bow and she says uh goblins goblins here northern village they're pouring through the the passage you've got to close it it's been opened somehow. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't make it inside. There's too many of them. What's been opened? Well, priorities first. Odin, can you do anything about these wounds? Uh, we can ask our paladin friend. All right, your paladin friend is, is rushing over. I'll, I'll take care of her. You, uh, you go do what you have to, and I'll, I'll wait until you return. I'll do everything I can for both but of them. Did I? But Thank did you. I hear correctly? She said, "Tell Enora." Tell Enora. That's the word. That's the word she said. Uh, okay. Is it a word or a name? Chat has request an official boob inspection. I'll leave that up to you, though. I 
can do a boob inspection. How well. about we just keep that a rumor? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, she she looks very, very bad off, so he's going to drag her off unless you have anything else to say, to ask. It's probably for the best. What's been open? The gate. Okay. The passage up north. Yep. I think she needs scary immediately. Wait, say that again? I think she needs scary immediately, so we should let her rest first. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so he's what do you out. think he said? I couldn't tell. That was... There we go. I was clicking and not paying attention. Alright. He's just dragging her on the ground. Caveman, so... <laughs> Alright. He's taking care of her. You can hear her say something to him, and he just calls out to you. He says, Explosives are in her saddlebags. Oh, to the explosives. Okay. <laughs> it's canon now. All right. All right, Odin. Could you perhaps inspect this bow for me? Sure. Yeah, actually, you have that ability, Odin. Okay. Uh, do I roll? Well, what do you? Well, go ahead and. You decide. I, I jumped the shark a little bit. Go ahead. Jump yeah, I want to make shark. a perception check on it. All right. So, uh, okay. Is, You're just going to roll yeah. a d20. Everything is will be a, uh, a 10. This is your uh, is your target for everything that's not like a, an opposed roll. Like if you're fighting against another living creature, it's going to be an opposed roll. But if you're just trying to do something that has no nothing opposing you it's just going to always be 10 with this new system so you'll always need a 10 all right <laughs> chat also wants to know the bow's gender apparently not sure what's going on there how will this ever work with a 1d20 i need a 10 uh-huh correct with one <laughs> did you got a one really no, no, with a one. <laughs> just one die, and I need to get a ten. That's well, no, yeah, 50% like, of the time, you'll have a... Uh, it's like a, a 50% chance. That's right. still quite decent. Okay. So, uh, depending on what you're inspecting... For, for example, if Ultrafire wanted to help you, uh, you could get one boon. Because he clearly is a little bit more of a bow expert than you. Okay, Ultrafire... But I, I assume he's asking you for a reason. That's why I'm I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm jumping the shark a little. So you were successful. Math, I know, right? Wait, you're. Okay, I'm getting confused now. All right. So a twelve. So you're saying anything over ten? I thought it was just ten. Ten, ten that... or over? No, no, no. Ten okay, okay, or no, higher. No, no, no. <laughs> that was your fault. You confused me because I okay. thought it was just ten. That's why I kept saying just ten. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, you need a ten or higher. Okay. Yeah. So I got a twelve. Okay. And you to that, uh, Ultrafire needs to spit out what he's asking you to do a little, a little more. What What are well, you looking to find out from Odin? Why did you oh, hand Odin example. the bow? I have a weird sensation. I feel something weird on this bow. I'd like to know if there's like a magical presence. There you Perhaps go. Perhaps the word Enora helps with that. All right, that's what I was getting at. You wanted to know if it had magical properties. Yes. So uh, you would use your sense magic skill, Odin? You have that in your talents? Uh Or do you know what she got? We don't need that anymore. <laughs> huh? Wait, I I have that. I do have that talent. You should. Sense magic. Yeah, it's under your. Should be under your talents. 
think I have sure. sense magic. Yeah. yeah well, I, you you were both magicians, so if one of I you has it, you both have it. Actually... Okay, I'll read. Oh wait, no, 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 no! I can sense magic within a five mile radius. Yes, you're right. Five meter, <laughs> not five mile. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> Maybe one day you can you can level up. Five miles, guys. Five miles. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I guess I sense magic. I don't. How am I supposed? <laughs> no, you did. You you used it, so you can you. You can detect magic. You do detect that that bow is, in fact, a magical bow. And that its name is Telenora. Oh. I'm so smart, guys. Share it. Tell them how smart you are. All right, so this is, in fact, a magical bow, and its name is Telenora. That's quite interesting. Interesting, indeed. I'm sure it will improve my aim, so we won't have any accidents. Austin. So I want to talk about this horse, actually. Th this horse that's just, you know... May I acquire no, you? you cannot ride the horse, Odin. Question, am I allowed to equip this new bow? Yes. Hmm. I mean, yeah, if you want to, sure. <laughs> we all want to talk about the horse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, what? horse snapper. Why are you riding the horse? Now try, sucker. Hey, hey now. That that wasn't fair of you. What do you want to know with every single right. animal so you see? You, you look at the horse. And now what? You want to talk about it, so talk. All right. Wopsie. So no one is, uh, you know, she's not using this horse. So uh, I'm assuming we can take it. Nope. Why no? It's her horse. She has a saddle on it and everything. It's, it's her. Oh, it's, it's hers. It's, it's the hunch. It's not. It's not like it's a pony or anything. It's the hunch. I knew you wanted to want it. What did I say? Wow. We this is medieval. still in nobody's horse now, are we? <laughs> well, the huntress is currently, you know, the huntress gave her your gave you her bow. I mean, why wouldn't she give us her horse? No, she gave, no, she gave well, me. Well, maybe she gave it to me for a reason, and the horse is mine as well. Well, I mean, she's currently. And besides, what use is a horse if we don't have enough of them? Well, I see oh another God. horse over there. <laughs> exactly, Wobsy. I see another horse Wait, over there. <laughs> wow, no. you got it bad, Milk Noodle. What is your problem? <laughs> oh my God! Look, a free <laughs> animal that nobody's currently riding on top of. Hey, hey, all right, I got all right. <laughs> all right you know, I'm gonna get a deal. You can have the horse, but I kill Billy. There will be no killing of Billy. You get no horse. It's that simple. Let me kill Billy, and you get the horse. But I could make Billy into quite the nice stew after all. See? Wow. Fine. Fine, yes. guys. Yes! I'll, yes. I'll no, yes. no, 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 no. I'll respect that we won't take the horse. Oh, I don't know. Don't think you out so happy for me, then. No. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> You're such a pipe. I apologize for my dog's language. Such a foul mouth puppy. You guys, I kind of want to talk to... 
the horse. Oh, there's some pigs over there. Oh. Well, I, there's just there's oh, they're just running God. around freely. Well, I'll say I'll say it again. You want any animal? I kill Billy. I'm just gonna say that the was the hunters seem to be in quite in distress and saying that goblins are breaking through. So I'd suggest we hurry up north and see if we can prevent that from happening. Agreed. Yeah, like that's, a plan to me. that's a good idea. Alright, so you want to head north? Uh, wait, wait I want to tell Billy one thing to do. I was this close. I was this close to <laughs> eating your ass for dinner. Wow. Poor choice of words. <laughs> Rump roast is a thing. May, may I just say there have been quite the few innuendos in this uh, yeah, well, session here. It's chat's fault. Blobsy, <laughs> Mrs. Medieval, they're all being terrible, crude individuals. Destructum. <laughs> well, well, I, Destructum was a foregone conclusion. He was, of course. I was just saying that I was this close to eating him. Yeah, well, well, there was yeah. a bird that came after that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we're heading did. north. Right? Heading north. Nothing so, else here? Or in between there. I forget a quest to a penny. No, I yeah, just I know. no, I simply said I'm gonna No, I simply said in like oh, I was this close to eating you for dinner. No, you and said what? I was this close to eating your ass. <laughs> yeah, you said eating your ass. <laughs> oh, hey, God. you said it not me. <laughs> Alright, hey, alright. I'm gonna assume we're heading north me. now and we have no other business here. Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, so again, thanks to Tabletop Audio for their awesome music. And Yag for sending us some copies. Thank you, Cedric. Okay. So uh, you've walked a couple days, and you're at the northern village, and you see fire up ahead, but it doesn't look like a normal village. What can I perceive? Fire. And some kind some of a village, kind of village up ahead. ahead. Anything more. Not from here. And I'm hearing double. And the reason for that is why... How... Is it just port eyesight? Distance. Okay. Can I, uh... Take a gander at our surroundings away from the flame, please. Perception on that. Uh, perception on what, I'm sorry? Specifically? Uh, determining whether or not we're surrounded by anything. Trees. You see nothing but trees. Oh, did, did. Mm. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to change your bow to your rainfire. Or ultra fire. Too many fire people. Oh wait, it changed back. Yeah, I don't know that it updates like that. Two Saturdays from now, Wobsy. So, um, what's your plans here? I want to go to Ozzy. Okay. So I'd like to request Odin to put down our light. There you go. I was waiting for that. Alright. Uh, so Not leaving anything to chance. I actually wrote your part of the story in here, so this part I'm going to be winging. All a little right, bit. So we observe before we... Okay. Just move up just right there and hold still so I can catch up with you. And uh, you can make the appropriate perception rolls. All right, go up to the next tree line, next batch of trees. Okay, it looks like from here, Nukem, you can see. Looks like some glowing eyes of some kind. You you guess it probably comes from a creature, of some sort. You mean the oh, flow? Oh, what? You oh, mean the flow? The, 
The what? The floating one. The floating beast. There's no floating beast. It's floating on my screen. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's like a... a big pit beneath it. A pit? Yeah, like yeah. a hole. Okay, so you don't see what... Can you look at the stream real quick? You don't see what I see on the stream? I see a... I see the beast. It, I mean, I see the beast. They look... Well, not can off. you... Can you go a bit higher on the stream so I can see it from above? Like this? I guess that's how I saw it. Alright, stream is probably a delayed a bit. Yeah. Okay. If you don't put the tree in front of it. How high off the yeah. ground? Yeah, <laughs> how high off the ground are you going? How much higher do you need me to go? Just so I can see through the trees. Oh, we're not that close yet. But it, it shouldn't be a pit. It doesn't look like this. No, for me, just, just a hole beneath it. I can see the camp and stuff on the ground, but the beast just seems to be standing in the air. Oh. Huh. It's fine Nobody. for me. Alright, yeah. well, I'll, I'll try and fix it as we get closer. If Maybe if I move it around a little bit, it'll re, um, re-sync up for you. Do so, I, uh, you roll with reception? Or no, yeah, I mean, uh, not yet, anyway. This particular moment, there's... That's what you can see. You want to move closer? Yeah, I want to move closer right here. Alright, move to the next batch of trees. Do I recognize the creature's outline, by the way? I was just wondering that what happened. It's, it's here, not where you are. Um... Well, they, if they want to go up to that one, that's fine. All right, you can probably see a little better from here. All right, no, you just looks like some kind of wolf-like creature, but it's not really. It looks like any wolf you've ever seen. A little four-legged, yeah. something. I see two of them. I do as well. And you see yeah. their eyes glowing, and you see the uh, oh, goblin. Going. You see a goblin camp here. Looks like they've Red. they've got. One sort of fixed structure in the back, several oh, makeshift sweet. tents uh, set up around it, and the, uh, about the only thing left of the old village you can see is the well there in the center. Mine is floating in the pit as well, actually. Oh, do you guys want to reload? Disconnect, reconnect? Well, I have a feeling it's not going to fix it. Um, but... Well, I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I didn't do yeah, any um, editing like that in this map. You can move up a little bit, Damien, if you want to. Uh, yeah, so I'll do. Yep. So anything beyond here, let me know what you're going to do. Don't move until you tell me what you're doing from here. Prepare for battle. Think of a strategy. <laughs> Don't forget to find out the gender of the glowing eyed beast. Surrender. Well, you you see an entire village full of goblins here. Like they they look like they're they're here. This isn't just four or five goblins. There's a lot coming and going, and sometimes they head off north, head towards the passage you were headed to. Sometimes some arrive, I and mean, they're just constantly coming and going, and that's what you can see from here. I suggest we be a little. S <laughs> Sorry, I suggest we be a little sneaky and uh, maybe like stealthily kill a few without them noticing. You know. How are we gonna do that? Uh, we can like go around from the back, maybe, or like from the side, like behind the. What are those? Like tents on the left. But there are two wolf creature things on the sides. Do any of you know if goblins drink water? <gasps> wait, wait, wait! I have a a spell that can turn one person invisible. For how long? For about I think, I think about a minute. All right. Well, I bought some poison in Bone Drift. So, what if we poison the bow? Wait a few days, and they're all dead. 
So I turn you <laughs> so I turn you invisible. You go there and poison their food. This was a very honourable thing to do, poisoning them. You know, I hate goblins, so I'm willing to do anything to get rid of them. Alright, so our plan is to turn Ultra mm -hmm. invisible so we can poison their food. Well, mm -hmm. they're well priority. As I know, they will drink from it. Yeah. Hmm. Well... He can do it! He can, he can do it! Like, he, well, how, it. What, how are you gonna poison all of them? Here, put it in their well or something, or...? Yeah, yeah that works my plan. Yeah, you, oh. would, you would have to have a lot of poison to poison an entire well full of... of water. He's got a little poison. Yeah, it'll, it'll only, uh... I don't think that'll work, guys. <laughs> but he's got a lot of poison, though. Why well, got a vial of poison? I we had three bars. Very... Well, uh, I'm... it might be very powerful. No, they they yeah. actually took over another city. We could do the used to be a village here. Try to assassinate each one, every one of them individually. Uh, I'm still up for turning you invisible and so you can poison the well. Well, like I, like I was telling I'm you, this is work. an entire village full of goblins now. This is this is not just like a few goblins here and there. I mean, how they, many they, are we talking about, by the way? Could be dozens. You can see, I don't know, one, two, three, four. I warn them that uh, they'll probably know what to do if we're in six. the wrong position because of the wind. That's why, yeah, if you get any cl I want you to know what, what you're going to do if you move any closer. Is there anything specific we might be looking for in this camp? Not that I know of. I mean, we're, I mean, we're just trying to find... Do you think we might be able to... barter with them? Or speak to them? I mean, we could. It's quite but, I mean, risky. But given yeah, given but what happened... Evil. Given what happened to Nim, I don't think they're gonna want to talk. Yeah. That's well, true, we don't, we don't actually know... I'm we don't know if it was the goblins that injured him. Love it. I mean, it's likely, but it may not have been. Well, I suggest that we deal with the dogs first. I mean, you know, the... Let's see. Can we bait them? Can we bait them with, like, meat? That's why I wanted to kill Billy. <laughs> I, I don't recommend trying that. I hear smell at the goblin, probably will too. All right. Or worse. Maybe. Oh wait. Maybe um. We can. Can can we like. Go go like over here and then like. You know, throw a rock at this one or something, and then, and then bait him over here so that we can, you know, get them to attack individually. Well, with up until, growl. yeah, then it will alert the entire town. So I perhaps we, we can make the goblins fight amongst each other. If we turn someone invisible, all these theories, invisible throws a rock at all the these goblin, plans, maybe they'll get mad at each other. Ooh, yeah, that's true. That would be cool, actually. <laughs> uh, if, if we do that, I vote for Alexander. I'm willing to throw a goblin in a stone, a goblin's face. Me oh, right, well, then. Talk, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Tom. Alright, so that's the that's plan. That's... So you're gonna turn yep. uh, Ultra Invisible. I'm sorry, Alexander Invisible. 
Yep, so he can make the globals attack each other. All right, so what exactly are you doing, Alexander? All right, I'm being turned invisible. Then I'm going <laughs> to sneak up a bit forward. Throw a rock at one of the goblins, preferably one in the back, so I throw it in his face and not from behind. When you say in the back, where, where are you aiming to reach? Because remember, you have a minute. You have one minute. The one that's lying down by one of the tents. Or the one... As you can see him off to the right. Okay. Off to the right? Oh, yeah, I okay. All right, we'll go ahead and turn him invisible then. It's your intellect, right? My intellect? Yep, what's the spell say? Damien? I'm trying to find it. The spell is called Oh, it is. Um, they store appearance alteration utility. It's okay. my uh, I can't say what um. Uh, it it target one creature you can reach. What kind it's, of magic uh, is it? it, it uh, all, uh, uh, all the way, that's it, what, um... Alteration? Yeah, alt okay. yeah. That's what I'm looking Alteration, for right It's under the A's. Be easy. Okay, and it's called Distort Appearance? Yeah, Distort Appearance. Alteration Utility. All right, that's not invisibility. Oh. That's if, you know, like, if you're trying to escape in a crowd of people, your face just kind of turns indistinct and they can't tell who you are. Uh. Can it say. change someone's appearance to look like a goblin? No, it doesn't change it that drastically. It just kind of helps you fit into a crowd, basically. It's if somebody, yeah, if you're, if you're a human in a crowd of goblins, no. All right, then we need a different plan. Yeah, we need a plan. I mean, it starts, like, you could probably still do it, but you know, it's not. Someone got a brilliant plan. I was just going to feel awkward, but where's off just as he gets there? We could, um... Well, you guys you guys have had several plans so far. We could wait out. You know, wait till they die. Then see what, then see what happens. I mean, Corson did say that there are dolphins coming in and out. How about we cause a bit of panic? Set some of their tents on fire. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let me do. So, what what is your goal here? What, well, are, what are you what are, what are you hoping to do here? To get past them, really. Is that what you all want to do? That's Just right. want to get past them? Unless well, there's I am something curious. Here. Yeah, I mean, I am curious on why they're here. We do want more information, but if they have us outnumbered like this. I mean, our eventual goal is to close that passage. Yep, the passage is going to be just beyond them. It's where the mountains start, and you should hit that passage once you so get past them. So are we capable of just moving around this town undetected? Uh, you can, yep, you can try. We want to. Is that what you want to do? Just try and move around well, it undetected? I'm waiting for what my party members think of that. Uh, if we're gonna be going someplace, I'd rather get uh, a bit further away so that 
The hounds uh, take longer to smell us if we get in the wrong position to the wind. No, well, at least he's speaking the about the smell. That's good. They might be. We can look at the smoke from the fire to see where the wind is blowing. Yeah, but what if we leave them be and they attack the village? There we go. Whoa. Oh. How are we? Go ahead. If we're outnumbered. We might run into some of the hunter's allies when we go up north. Do you remember the map? Only slightly. The, the There's the mountain passage, it goes through the mountains, and then it goes into the goblin territory. Alright, but we need to find a way to close that passage to prevent more goblins from coming in. This is a really challenging decision. Yeah, Odin, you're kind of quiet over there. What are you? What are you thinking? What do you think you uh, should do? I'm trying to compile my uh, my talents actually, because I I didn't really have them written with the you know what they do. So I I don't really know what I can do and and if I can help. And I well, feel like I can help. Yeah. Just uh, like on a general. Like they've they've come up with several plans so far. What was your? What I know, was your I know, one? but what I'm what I'm saying is that I feel like I have talents that can help. Oh, oh, your talents! I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm just trying to see what they all do really quick. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Um. Just talk to your group before you do it. You can. It, Decide uh, together. Can I perceive any pine cones or something of that nature? Yeah, sure. There's some pine cones, sticks, stuff around. Okay. Would I be able to, um. <laughs> this is pretty low. Put one of the glimmer sticks into one of the pine cones quietly and, uh, prepare to throw it? You want to put a stick in a pine cone? I don't follow. Uh, noise trap. Lure. Okay. Um, wolves have trickery. So, once per round, you can make an attack roll or challenge roll with one boon if you attack that with one boon. Oh, that gives extra damage. I don't think that's useful here. Uh. Oh, crap. I have the same talents. I'm a rogue as well. Okay, well. Uh, mm. So we basically have two clear plans, I think. One is just move past, and the other is lure them out one by one. If I we have to decide those two, I'd say the um, I think we should just walk around them, you know, sneakily go past them. Well, I I think you should probably start by deciding what you want. What's what's your end goal, right? Like, what do you what do you want to achieve by? Well, my priorities. Because you had said something about um, wanting to find out why they're here too. So I mean, yeah. I think I think if you just kind of out, outline first how you want it to end, it'll be easier to make your plan to how you want to get there. Well, well, I want to know why they are here. Oh. And the only way I th I, I can think of finding out is talking to them. All right. Uh, I also course. have, guys, I have oh, uh, the ability to use a wall of darkness, and it's a circle with a two-yard radius uh, centered on a point within medium range, and area becomes opaque for the duration... No, totally but... obscures everything within or behind it, blocking all light created by natural sources. It was going to be the opposite, Wobsy. So, 
I could like you know basically turn off the lights in their their town, and then uh, we well, can. Well, that's not quite that big. Oh. See how big it was the radius? Yeah, two yard radius. It's like six feet. How many sources of light do they have? Mm, looks like several from here. I can see at least. Hold on, let me go back to your perspective here. I see. I two. see two at least. So if she casts that five miles on one of the fires, at least, um, it'll darken one side of the camp. That'll be a nice little distraction, if you don't mind me saying. Yes, but how do we manage to take advantage of it? Mm. Not positive on that one. You have set us up with a fairly, a very challenging task, constant. It's I'm not challenging still... at all. You, you guys are, you guys are. Uh... I'm still in favor of passing by. You have, you have several really... ideas you can do. You guys are coming up with plenty of plans. You just have to. You, you just have to decide what you want to do and then aim everything that you want to do towards that goal. So again, if you, if you said you wanted to find out why. So what are all the things you could do that would bring you towards that goal right. of understanding? So, Does anybody have a spell right. that allows them to animate something so that we can send a message without having to actually go ourselves? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So... To do that, I have a couple of options. I can talk to him. Dwarves are hated by goblins less than humans. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out a little bit. I, I'll be right back. Okay. Wait, so dwarves are hated by goblins even less. Yes, goblins hate humans more than they hate dwarves. So we could let our dwarves speak to them. What's up, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, they could sneak by and ignore them, yep. We could we also could try and sneak into the camp. Maybe sneak into their, what looks like their main house building. To see if we can find any information. Alright, so have new... No matter skittish, I wouldn't necessarily recommend sneaking on them. And the problem is that most of your spells, I dare say, are not going to room it with your smell. Or your equipment smell. The hounds are going to find you, and so are they. So, we could have Nuke, you know, Toto. <laughs> mean, uh, Just hey. sounds so easy. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it sounds easy enough. Parting the camp entirely. As okay. my aim is to close that passage, but my party members seem to okay. disagree. Well, I, I just mean, what's, what's your aim here? If you don't care about this village, then your aim is to just get around past them. So you want yes, to think that's of... that's my aim. Right, so then all, all, all your, right. your your suggestions... Then off we go to Palestine. Hey, okay. That's why. <laughs> so we could have new talk to them. See if he see if he could try to convince them to tell them where why they're here. That's a you that's a you three discussion here. That's what I'm that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Nukem? Or I mean Aiden. I mean it's like constant I mean the new way I said. They hate you more than us. Other way around. So yeah, they hate you less than us. So you could potentially quite try to befriend them. Okay. Alright, if Aiden is willing, I'm also willing to go along with this plan. Also, I'm go gonna run the bathroom real quick, so be ready. Sure, go for it. Uh, yeah, alright, so we're all in agreement Let's do that. Okay. We're gonna hold it right here for a sec when, when, uh, when Milk Noodle gets back and uh, Ultra gets back. 
will execute your plan. So just so I understand, what do you want to do? You want to go try and talk to them, uh, Aiden? I. I mean, that is the plan, yeah. Okay. The main goal is to find out why they're here. So I'm guessing he could potentially try to persuade them to tell them why they're here. So then we can go with ultra plan and sneak past them. I'll ask them if they've got any of you. Meet the need but train. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Let's wait till they. Uh, Try until... and make some shinies while I'm at it. We'll wait until uh, Odin gets back and make sure that she's cool with the plan, and then we'll go ahead. All right. Well, while well, they're all doing that. Naked Dwarf is Pornhub, not Twitch. That's true. Naked Dwarf is a shaved dwarf. <laughs> That's true. You appear to be on the wrong site, Wopsie. <laughs> oh, I'm on the correct one. Oh, wow. Any plan with the word potentially in it is not great. Potentially shot getting two bottles of brandy is healthy. <laughs> potentially shot getting two bottles of brandy is healthy. Okay, what's happening? Uh, Ultrafire... We're in FKSEC, but you want to explain your plan, Aiden, and, uh... I'm going to go in, offer my services as a butcher, and start chatting them up. Find out what they're, they're here for. I'm back. Okay. So what do you think of the plan, Odin? Sorry, what was the plan? We let Aiden talk to them. Oh, yeah, of course. If we can avoid fighting, then, yeah, let's do that. All right. I'll just go toss off time. All right. See you soon. Yeah, you have your there, weapon really out, a uh, torch out, anything? Good luck. No. Nothing? You're just going to walk out of the darkness? I have dark sight. What the hell do I need a torch? Well, well, I'm, maybe, okay. I'm, I'm asking because uh, I, 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 I have control I have of your character. Okay. I have a proposition. Maybe you can you can go in there invisible, and we don't have invisibility. No, wait. You can't. Someone can't make him invisible. No, it was no. indistinct, not invisible. Oh, what does that mean? Indistinct. Hiding in a crowd versus hiding in plain sight you know like you look like every other person in the crowd makes you indistinct uh, oh oops oops sorry uh, I think I started moving um, where are you going there we go um, well you guys don't want to do that though for your services as a meal that one of us goes in as a goblin and then no, that's not how it no, works. Can... Just yeah it's yeah. it's indistinct it doesn't it just makes you indistinct it doesn't make you it doesn't transform you it's not like a changeling or whatever you call it well then what is that yeah. even <laughs> it's it, yeah, it, it, if you're trying to yeah. escape into a crowd for example or if you're a wanted uh, person you could maybe walk through a gate of people you know walk through like guards or something who were looking for you, but you just walk in with the crowd and you're indistinct and you just go right on through. Yeah, the only okay. option we have. Well, you guys, so... you guys don't want to do that on him so he doesn't attract the dogs because I can't. feel like. No? The do it won't work on the dogs. It won't work on the dogs. The oh. dogs aren't looking for a specific person. The indistinct, again, just makes you look different a little bit. Yeah, because I have a feeling that if he walks right up with the dogs right there. They're gonna come at come after him. Like I feel like if he gets any closer, they're gonna come up. But I don't I don't know. I mean, we can still try the plan. You you just walk up. <laughs> yeah, well, I would argue him to not sneak up on them, just to make himself known prematurely. There we go. Yeah. yeah. I would argue the goblins are in control of the dogs. Yeah. That's okay. A, yeah. So that's the plan. So. Um, Aiden goes there, adapts himself before they see him, and, you know, adds him up. 
May I just note that I like how we have another A A name. Aiden <laughs> Alexander Archer. And, and Odin. Aiden and Odin. Oh yeah. man. All right. So Aiden, uh what's your your plan now? You've they, they, are you going up there conspicuously, lighting a torch, or are you still planning on walking out of the darkness? I'm just going to walk up out of the darkness. All right. Here we I'll go. say hello to the oh, one no, I'm man. About I think 15 you... paces out. Okay. I'll say, Oi, do you happen to need the services of a butcher? Okay, hold on. All right. You're 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 a little bit out I'm here. Hiding the, I'm hiding oh. behind the tree for safety. All right, you, you can approach the village. You can see things a little better now. It looks like there's a lot of wounded goblins laying around. You can see them uh, guarding there at the front gates. You can hear the dogs, things, Zool, whatever. Actually, this looks like this Ghostbuster Zool thing. They both look uh, at you and they start to... Is float. Yeah. yeah, I see him floating too. <laughs> oh, well, he's not floating. I don't know. Uh, anyway, you see them looking at you and they start to growl and the goblins kind of start to gather at the entrance alright you're going to say something hi how are you doing this fine evening I was wondering whether or not you needed a services of a butcher alright the goblins cut you some rather fine pieces of meat for a couple of shinies all right, the goblins all kind of rush out here. Is it not working? Oh. All right, they all try to run around you and surround you. The big, one of the big scary dog looking things comes over. Why are you here? I'm looking to make some coin, lad. You have friends? Say no, say no. No, uh, uh, milk noodle, hush. Nope, <laughs> nope. I left off a while. Uh, well, you said what? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, Nukem. What was your answer to them when they I asked you if you have friends? I left them off a back a little while ago, looking for uh, better opportunities to make some coin. All right, the goblins start looking around behind you. How long ago? How far back you leave them? About a day or so. Alright, you're gonna have to roll for that one. Alright, you're uh, trying to tell a lie and convince them. So, uh, what's your what's your willpower? Uh, ten. Okay, so no bonuses for willpower. Alright. Where is Aiden? Oh, Aiden's number one. All right, you're going to get one bane for that because you're uh, you're lying to them. You're telling them a not truth, trying to convince them something that's not true. Um, no, they don't believe you. You got a two. Wow. All right. Goblins say you lie. Tell friends come out now. No weapons. Well, if they follow me, I have no idea about that. But, uh, I am alone. I haven't had anybody traveling within in about a hundred feet of me, uh, for about a day. Yeah, the goblins, they're not buying it. They're bringing up more people. You tell friends come out now or we send dogs. Oh, by all means, and the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, I try and nudge Odin and uh, Archer forward as I hide behind the tree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, such bravery. <laughs> all right. Uh, the goblin looks around, and uh, all right, the goblins start to move towards you guys with the dogs. You guys can see this. Uh, All right. go Goblin out. Goblin says, uh, last chance you tell friends come out or we kill friends. Uh, screw this, I go out. You're what? 
I'll go out. I'm not aware of anybody is out there, so uh, if you smell them, by all means, go find them. Okay, I'm okay. here. Okay, it's me. Hats up, I'm here. Alright. Uh, why are you stalking me, you dirty bastard? Alright, they uh, come over to you. Dog gets real close and breathes some very nasty smelling breath in your face, in your general direction. Good lord. Goblin says, no move. Nice no move. I'm not moving at all. I will obey your every command. Alright, the other goblin comes around and says, tell friends, come out. No weapons. Guys, come out. I'm hiding behind a tree. I'm Stop waiting out. for Odin to come so, out. You're, you're trying to hide? Well, I'm waiting for Odin to come out so I can stay behind. Oh, oh, I see. Brave Sir Robin. <laughs> well, we need someone on, on the outside of the camp. Too. Right, come on, come on, come on, come out. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I Odin? know what I'm doing, Odin. Step forward. I've got to just say that you're all of it and there's no one else left back here and i'll make sure i'll get you out of any sticky situation you get okay all right it's just me you have your weapon out on purpose oh shit no not on purpose wait okay all right you're stopping right there yeah. All right. Big guy's coming up to you. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Again, you can smell the, the rank breath of the beast so close to you. He's kind of like opening his mouth and growling in your face or, you know, in your general direction. I don't think he's quite as tall as you, but. He is so much, man. Goblin asks, any more friends? He's talking to you, Odin. Any more friends we no, kill? No more. No more friends. All right. You can hear him screaming at the guys in the camp. They have some more come out. And another big dog thing rolls up with them. Whoops. With the fence. Yeah, no. It's, it's a magical fence. Okay. All right, so uh, Odin, you're going to have to roll uh, again with one Bane to try and convince this goblin that you are telling okay. the truth. Um, what, what is it, willpower? Uh, Yeah, well, what is your willpower stat? 11. Okay, so what you can do is you just roll, um, go to the, let's see, your character sheet. Okay, and where it says one Bane, see that? Minus one, it's actually the very first one. Click that, and you'll just add one to the total because you have an 11. So you'll be a plus one modifier to that roll. Oh, okay. And this will be an opposed roll, so go ahead. Oh, fuck. Nah, doesn't believe you. No believe. You all lie. This one, no lie, points it at uh, Archer. Last yeah, chance, call friend. We send all dogs. No oh, weapons. Odin, 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 yeah, okay. You can talk to there, Archer. We'll charge them out. Yeah. Oh, out. By the way, wait a moment. I need to find he... to put my weapon away. <laughs> okay. What'd How you many say? Are left near me? Uh, they have two near you. And you are hovering over the pit. Okay. Um. Hey, right, hello. What's your day, guy? I'm gonna stab the one on my. Uh, oh, no, 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 I, I, I come out with my uh, hands, well, not raised, but like yeah, halfway to the end. My hands in front of me. Oh, you guys are terrible bluffers. 
I mean, we should have just let me go out first. I have the better rules. <laughs> uh, thank, thanks, Wolf. All right, they have another dog. Comes out, growls menacingly at it, uh, Alexander. Wow, I really messed up that village, dang it. Okay. I see what you did. All right, the goblins surround you. You walk. You see Elder. Any more friends? No, that is it. That is it. Just us four. That is it, yes, yeah. There's an entire army behind that tree. And no, and no, the slide butter. All right, the the goblin says something to the dog by uh, by Odin. I'm sorry, by uh, Archer, and it runs off, and you can tell it's just basically tracking around to see if you're telling the truth. So, they uh, they point your weapons and they point you to walk towards the village, into the village. Move into light. Go Thanks, now. Alright, fine, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. My hands in the air. Hands in the air, everyone. Well, the dwarf has his hands in the air. Oh yeah, Nukem, you're oh, attacking no. the guy or no? I'm sorry. No, no he's not. Uh, no, I guess Don't not. attack the guy. Okay. If he attacks, I'm not with him. <laughs> the, last minute, the last time this happened with with um Noodle, how did he die? If he stabs, yeah, Wolf might have saved you. Someone's getting a weapon oopsie next, apparently. All right, Nukem, you walking in with them? Sure. All right. Well, I'll not be raised right my hand. Uh, it's all right. The other dog finishes his little route, satisfied, and moves back in. See, I told you, we come in peace. All right, you argue. Humans tell many lies. That's because the last time we saw a goblin, it, 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 they tried to kill us. That's you build big circle. You build big what? circle on our land. What this circle is about, I do not know us. I've been trying for four adventures to find out what this circle is. I would like to know the circle now. You quiet now. You talk to Elder. Keep moving. I move. All right. Oops. Sorry, Ultra. Just trying to grab Nukem there. All right. You see the uh, the Elder has the little bone head on his staff. Like the oh. little mushrooms. Cute. Is that what it is? A mushroom? Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, perfect. I messed that up again. That's close enough. All right, so the entire village here gathers around you. All right, one of them uh, tells you, late. stay back. Stay back from Elder. I got that. That enough for you? Yeah, that's good. Where's everybody? Look at him. Hello. He can't move um, himself. He's waiting on me. I'm, I'm moving the entire village that you have... Uh, you have stirred up now. Wait, does Nukem not have the egg? No, not no. yet. Nope. Oh, I didn't notice. I thought it was Nukem the entire time. Nope, that's alright, we're no. good. Alright. So, uh, a couple of the goblins come and encroach and guard you and a bunch of the dogs. The dog things. I gotta come up with a creative name for them. So... Soul hounds. Come on, please. Come on, please. Yeah, please, yeah. All right. Uh, guys, about this, I love you. <laughs> yeah. So, can we talk to him? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Our, the the elder face. says, "You quiet. I ask questions. Why you build circle? Okay. Right. We do not know. We four do not know of this great big circle. You know. You lie. You stop circle magic right now. We kill you all. Please, I want. Please yeah. tell me what it is. I would like to know uh, what this circle is. Yeah, right. From before our time, I'm very sorry, but uh, we can't do anything about it. All right, he, he points his staff at the at, at uh, Aiden. You dwarf, you lie. You no talk no more. We no believe you. Dwarf, yes, no more good. friend to goblins. Oh, well, I was trying. To My friend, Archer's friend. Archer, Archer has hands in there. Archer is friend to goblins. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, we 
Maybe uh, you can, the goblins. Maybe we can help you. We we don't know about the circle, but if it's you know harming your village, then we can see if we can help. What you mean, harm village? Almost all goblins dead now. Your circle. What? Your magic, you kill goblins. How do goblins die? That's not the question you wanted to ask. <laughs> I didn't want to ask it. Yeah, I want to know the circle. Please, great elder, tell me. The great elder guru, tell me this down. Tell me about this great big circle. Alright, roll, uh. Let's see. Roll your. Just let's see. Roll a willpower. Just a standard willpower for everybody. So, 120? Just 1d20. Yep. Nukem, I'm rolling for you. I don't. Hey, come on! You can also roll a dice roller too, Nukem, if you want to. Or roll your own dice. I'll, I'll do that. I'll let you do that if no, you want. thank you. Uh, you got a 7 this time. Everybody got a 10, really? Oh my god. No, Odin, you rolled minus 1. You rolled a, oh, wait, yeah. Should I roll as well? Y yes. Well, you actually, you haven't technically spoken yet, so. No, but if you are if you want to speak, roll. Yeah, you need to roll just a standard d20. One d20, Odin. No no boons or banes, just a flat d20, and then add your willpower. Four. Wow. Oh my god, where did you, where's, guys, do you know, oh. no, guys, do you know this is number 10, right? We're not very convincing here, you guys. <laughs> Maybe oh, I no. should. Oh, wait, no. I don't. No. If you want to try, go, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, Damien. Go ahead and roll, uh, and then explain with your roll there. Arch, um, Alexander. Too many A's. Right, my willpower is You're 11, so I'll be adding one, right? Correct. Correct. All right, go ahead and give your explanation anyway. Maybe maybe your excellent role play will convince him. All right. Alexander, go ahead. All right. So, we may not know what this big circle entails, but I do know someone that might be able to tell us more. And right. he may be able to provide you aid. He narrows his eyes at you and just... He's just real quiet for a minute. Who you know? I know an archmage. One that is almighty mag that knows almighty magic. What it's archmage about... know about circle? Well, I don't know what the circle is, but if it's something magical, he's able to provide aid. Can Great Elder tell us what he knows about big circle? Big Circle makes undead kill goblins. Who make Big Circle? You! Points his staff at kind of your general area and just sort of him? shakes it. What do you mean? You describe him. Who? The... The said man who makes Circle. You are thinking they're more intelligent than they are. You know what I mean. You come, you make lights in sky, you leave Circle. You light run this skies, way. It's not our doing. We know you make blue light. No. Blue light is enemy. Blue light is not us. Yeah, blue light bad. We good. Alright, Archer. I'm sorry. Alexander, ro roll again 1d20 plus 1 since you're trying to convince him. Um, we'll see if he'll believe this. I'm gonna, uh, Archer, you can too. I'm changing my name. Archer, you can roll too. 1d20. And add... 1d20. You... Yep. Fuck it! <laughs> wow, double digits. First time. Congratulations. Alright, he looks between Alexander and Archer. If you telling truth, Circle come for you next. What what do you plan to do about Circle? Destroy Circle. How you Circle. destroy Circle? Wait, Circle make undead attack our village. Not just yours. Can you 
Can you take us to the circle? No. Too dangerous. We live here now. We're not going back. Can you at least oh, point us where we need to go? Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, sorry. Did you harm the Huntress? It's what I'm pretty much going to ask them. This is our village. Here. We defend Don't our miss. village from Invader. She will belong so here. You let us in. You give up. Wrong way to put, uh, put that. You right, took I'm, the point. Right, I'm tense. I'm very close to shoving that stick up his arse, but... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what? So I want to threaten. No, 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 I'm gonna shoot, no. I attempt to shot, I send it now. I have an internalized hate. I'm sorry, oh. can you fix this? <laughs> fix this? Like this? F fix, fix us, yeah, sorry. Just, uh, it was an accident. <laughs> sorry, do you mean? I, oh, I, I have an internalized hatred for Carpet. Wait, what move? So you know. Do so not I'm do anything rash. Do using my patience with don't. this guy. <laughs> yeah, don't do don't do anything. So what are you what are you doing, uh, Alexander? Hold hold on, I, I know what Alexander's doing here. What, what's your plan? He has All right. he has funny tendencies. Alright, I'm gonna raise my voice. Slightly angry. I'm gonna ask him. Do you know where the big circle is and can you point us there so we can take care of it? And I'm Looking at him very angrily. You can't take Circle down. We try already. We must seal Mountain. Clearly, clearly you didn't try hard enough. Okay, nope. Nope, I'm gonna shut Alexander's mouth before he can even finish that sentence. He's already said it. What are you gonna do exactly? <laughs> well, I'm still gonna shut his mouth though. You know, talk anymore. What my friend here I'd like to say is that we are also trying to stop the circle. How are you going to stop circle? Um, there's this person we're trying to. That's space opera, find not dark fantasy. That lives up north from here. Nothing north here but passage. We lose many goblins coming through. Circle not only bad thing. Well, it's also a bad thing. He looks at you and he kind of smiles a little bit. Can you close mountain? Yes, Yes, I can. I have beasts that go boom. That they can close cavern. Big right. boom. Big boom. Big cavern. Fine. You close mountain. We stay here. Then, yeah, then you'll tell us about said person that you may or may not know of? No, we not help you. You do this on your own. Yeah, I, I mean, no meant as in after we've done you know we blew up we, we blown up the um cave thing cavern we, it, the, the cavern we not friends we stay here we no move anymore yeah we may not be friends but we came in peace you leave you close mountain you never come back you never bother goblins but we have to come back this way to go home fine but that's it this our land now. We live here. You promise you yes, give your you word? Fine. I speak give for all four of us and say we we um give you our word. He gets a very, very interesting smile on his face. Waves his staff around and the uh the dogs sort of disperse. Back to wherever they were before. Except for one. 
keeps an eye on you. You close mountain. You not come back unless you close mountain. You promise? Yes. Wait. Did he say that the circle is also good? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, don't think I, I don't think I asked him this, but how is circle killing goblins? You will see. Oh, no, I did. He said that the undead was going to do it. Never mind. I say we leave this place immediately. Yeah, it's good. Before I smash this goblin's head in. Uh, I'm gonna push Alexander out of the low death village before he makes it through, before he kills us. Alright, they, they look like uh, he waves his staff again a couple of times and it looks like you're free to leave, more or less. Alright, all right, move along, Alexander. You Remember, first. he calls that after you. This our village now. This our land now. We no bother yes, you, we... you no bother us. Yes, I know. We come back only if we destroy tunnel. Alright, just heading him back towards the passage. Yes. Alright. Thanks to Tabletop Audio for their awesome music. To Cedric over at Yag for uh, giving us some keys for Yag. So you've come a short little distance. It's kind of obviously gotten colder. Elevation's gotten higher. You're here at the mountain passage. This is something that you knew was here. Uh, but for as long as you've been here, you always thought it was sealed. And this is kind of the first time... That you that you're you, that you've seen it basically, so it, it's been sealed for an eternity. And as far as you know, you're all not that old. I, I rolled your characters with you, so I know. So, but uh, here you are. Go forth and role play. Let's go. All right. The huntress told us that the passage has opened. I think that's quite relevant to keep in mind. Who, who told you that? And what did they tell you? I'm sorry. The Huntress. Oh, right. Yep. Right. Okay. Go ahead. So I suggest we travel with caution. Oh, those shadows are creepy. Oh, I can't even see that little block of ice anymore. Oh, no, I do. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, it looks a lot. It stands out a lot more for you, I'm sure. But all right. Stop here for a sec. You just gonna walk straight in, or do you have any other plans? I see no reason to do anything different. Okay. Me either. Uh, should we do lights out or? No, well, do not do lights out. It's no. Really dark, so and it has lights there as well. So we we'll have to run into the light. Yep. Do not I'm do sure lights out. We, uh, I'm gonna do a perception check, everybody. Go ahead, and make a perception check, everybody. One day train. Yep. New, uh, Newcomb, yours is. What's your, what's your perception? You have a special. Sweet, sweet, triple digits. Eleven. So I have plus one. No, you hey, should have a, a perception, perception bonus which, as a dwarf. Which, uh... That's why I was telling you to make that column a plus, plus two. So you have plus two to your perception. Okay. What were you asking, Uh Perception is equal to intellect? Yes, for you. Yep. All right. Well, okay, so... Just a 1d20 plus one, then? Yeah, just I one. Will... Yep, that's correct. Wow. Archer and Alexander, the ice next to you kind of looks like ice, but it looks maybe like it's not just ice. Odin and Aiden. God, you guys, you guys got to get new names. <laughs> We're going to kill your characters. <laughs> you're going to re-roll and you're all going to have different letters of the alphabet names. It's ridiculous. 
But Odin and Aiden, uh, that just looks like ice to you. And you're you're happy to go on your merry way as far as you're concerned. You right. see that too, why Ultra? What's his name? I Sander Sawe. I do Archer. It looks different. Like not I block voice. <laughs> looks a bit It's not yellow, like Mrs. Medieval but crystal. Good looking out. I'd like to hey, I'm gonna have to take a look. Yep. You'd like to yeah, what, like Ultra? To you want to go over look at? at it? Okay. Yes. Aiden and Odin, the the Wonder Twins. You guys <laughs> see them going. <laughs> you guys see them going to look at this ice rock. You gonna follow them or you gonna go to the door? Uh, yeah, I'll follow them. Uh, I don't want to just uh, ignore what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, why? It looks like a, it, it, it looks like a body. Yes, it does. You're very perceptive, Archer. Like hands, like, like I see his hands, and well, arms. Sorry. And Odin is passing out. Yeah, she is. Do what? Odin. Is Odin is. is is it better? No, nope. she's sh shaking. <laughs> she's shaking like a bee. Oh my I, God. I, I don't know. It's on my screen. It's okay. It's oh my God. That, was, it's that, was, that was funny because I, I went back in as my character. And when oh, that's they said, probably was, why. They said when I was like shaking my camera. Yes, <laughs> Ultra is Alexander. Shaking. This is Ultra Fire. This is Damien. This <laughs> yeah. is Nukem. So, and this is Milk Needle. I, I want to know what the hell is this? Well, it looks like it doesn't have a hat. A hat? Well, I mean, if it's like a body, then where does it? I mean, it's not arm. Um, it's not a arm. Um, I see. I mean, I mean, I mean, clearly see an, it's an arm um, right here. Can someone go. Wait, we, we probably can't, can't we? Can't what? Yeah, someone. Yeah, someone we, who, one can look stand on the other side so we have light there. Yeah, was, yeah, um like someone would talk to the other side. Like that? Man, yes. even then we can't barely see it. Wait, I'll pull out my torch. Not God, family friendly guys, please. I'll keep it in my pants. Thanks. Don't worry. <laughs> Where did you just go? I there to... we go. Oh, you can't come out of there. <laughs> I can't go in there, can I? Uh, well, you're, it's yeah, there you're, me, so. yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you if you end up flying in the air, hold X and right click on the ground, and it'll automatically bring you down to ground level. All right, so. All right, so it's definitely a humanoid. It, it's definitely the yes, Alex humanoid. It looks like maybe it's like some sort of troll or a giant. I'm trying to put light on it, man. Oh, I can see it now. Okay, it's interesting. I can't really draw any conclusions from it. Me either. Apart from that, it's probably been here for a while. That is that is uh, accurate based on your skills. You can kind of tell when a corpse has been around for a while. It, it appears to have definitely been here a while. I mean, his its head is completely missing. Unless that is his head. Anyway, I suggest we cautiously go to the door. I do as well. Okay. Milk Nerd, are you moving yourself or you got it? Who may do it? Uh, yeah, I can I can move. Okay. Wait, I should I wanted to I wanted to do a 
perception check on it and see if it was. Uh, if oh, it right, has now, oh, right, now it is. Hold, hold, hold on, Damien. You, you want to do a perception check and, and see what? See if it has magical properties. Oh, okay. No, so you don't want to do a perception check. You want to sense magic. Yeah. Well, can I do both? Well, you've already failed your perception check for like. Whenever oh, you crying. fail a roll, you generally fail it for like. I think the rule is about 10 minutes. So that way you just can't keep rolling and rolling and do it again. But yeah, you can sense magic on it if you want. Yeah, I want to do that. All right, roll away. You need a 10. And you're going to be using your intellect, so you're going to add any intellect as your bonus. 1d20 plus intellect. Oh, 17. Uh, you do sense that it it doesn't. Ha it's not actively magic now, but you can tell it. It had magic, maybe when it was alive or at some point. So yes, yes to the magical question, but that's about all you can tell. It's very, very faint. It, it's kind of like a like a golem or something, like something like a rock giant. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, man. I'm a little sus of this. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I'm a, there's I'm no a check for that. Sus Lobson. about this uh, rock over here, too. Hey, it, um, it, oh, used to have, it has magical properties as when it's alive. Um, and Aiden, Aiden is, uh, is shivering. Yeah, Aiden is shaking now too. Yeah. Oh, I just moved him. Yeah, he's good. Now. He's good. No, he's not good anymore. All right. Well. Nope. All right, are you guys ready to go inside? The door is is opened. And it's not uh, it's not actually closed, but there's no open doors. So, all right, walk on through. Uh, no, I'm shaking. Oh, we're stuck in the door. Are you? Wait. Why, why, why isn't this? Oh, I know why. I know why. Sit tight for a sec. I made a mistake. It's not really a mistake, actually, but we'll go with that. There we go. Now I'll go through the door. Oh, I'll go. go through the door. You want us to go through the closed door, Constant? It doesn't good. open up. You gotta use your imagination. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you guys to keep it keep it tight. Don't don't go exploring ahead of yourself, because like I said, I have I've made some things invisible so that I uh, make made things. A lot of well, yeah, but I'm gonna I'm about to turn off the fog of war because I don't really like it for what you're supposed to see. They, I think right. it ruins the illumination effect that I wanted for it, so I'm just going to turn it off. All right. Yeah, it's because lighting is... I don't want to give away anything. All right, you're inside. And you see uh, this building looks like it's just lit by these torches or whatever you want to call them. They look like gems. The gems are not um, exhibiting any light at the moment. It's just the torches that you see with the fire. Are able to carry the gems? You want to try and dig one out of the wall? Is that what you're saying? Yes. All right, you go ahead and go to the wall. And uh, how are you going to dig it out? Well, first I try to pull it. It is very, very firmly in that wall. Wait, what? The gem? Yes. We need it for uh, wealth. Uh, we need it for wealth. I'm... Uh, I don't know. You know, they made a great series of shows about stealing things from ancient places called Indiana Jones. Did you ever see any of those? <laughs> they all, I mean, they, they all uh, ended out so well. So, yeah. Go ahead, grab something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and another little series of films called The Mummy. Also good. Again, just saying. Yep, that's well, right. This isn't in Egypt, 
That's correct. You are correct. Fine. So yeah, what's what's your next move there, um, Crypt Robber? Oh, well, <laughs> it's just pulling it down doesn't work. I don't really have any material to pull it down, so I'm gonna leave it for my way back. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, we do have the explosives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a very tablet. limited amount of explosives. You got it to use Which... it about once. Yeah. Uh, we, we this. Can't do it. No. Since you couldn't yeah, see from the hand. outside, let me, let me explain this to you real quick. You're, you're currently underneath a mountain, okay? This, this passage goes through a mountain. This has all been carved out of rock. So where you place the explosives, you, you, can, you can drop the, the mountain in one place. All right, so I suggest that we just keep moving and we'll leave Margarita's side for now. <laughs> Agreed. All right. Agreed. Good choice of words. You moving yourself, Milk Noodle? Moving for a little. Um, okay. All right. Man, I need I need to pee really bad. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> We're just going into the next room here, guys, and then we'll wait for her. All right. All right. Next room. Um, go ahead and make an observation check. You three. I'll roll for you. Um. One d twenty. Yes. We're on a roll now. Oh god. Somebody stop this man. <laughs> oh, you got a natural 20. There, Nukem. Oh, you guys all saw it. Alright. Okay, when you were in the previous room... The, the, what would you call it? A brazier? I think that's probably what you call it. Looked very different. And the room ahead, unlike this one, is pitch black. So, what's your move here? I'm gonna move. Uh, I think we should move forward. Yes. All right, just move to the door and, and stop, if that's if that's yeah. what you mean. Yep, just move to yes. right in front of the door and stop. Nukem, what are your, what's your... Nukem? Rip Nukem, we barely knew him. Nuke. Gimli? Gimli. I don't know any more dwarves. Aiden. O'Rourke. What's his name? Alright. Well, I'm assuming they're just gonna walk up behind you. We'll just kind of wait for them to get back before we decide your, uh, your room approach. But you can also actually see with your uh, perception check over there, you see the room beyond is well lit again. Well, it's lit. I won't say well lit. But you can see a light in the room beyond this one. Nukem? Did Nukem go to the bathroom with milk noodle? <laughs> okay, now that's that's not right. You're welcome back, but we lost Nukem. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where Nukem went. Um, Nukem? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the fucking rule book right now, actually, because it's annoying reading this shitty picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I can barely read it. Okay. Uh, wait. All right, we'll give Nukem another minute or two, and then we'll continue. Nuki? Nukem, come back! Maybe you fell asleep? I don't know. Matter of fact, here's a question for you, really. Okay. When do you think it is satisfactory to start listening to Christmas songs? The day after <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving. I thought you were to say the day after Halloween. <laughs> Get out. No. The day <laughs> The day for after me, Halloween. No, yeah. no, 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 is incorrect. <laughs> for me, it's a day after bonfire night. What's the when's that? November fifth. Wow, you truly are lost. So as you know that's the well, because Christmas is the next big holiday. When does the Santa Claus start, Ultra? Is well, it November as well? Yeah, well, the fixed date is December fifth. So. Right. So I thought you said it last. Oh, that's just when you eat the cookies. Is, is you start? Yeah, well, then. you eat eat the cookies like in that November period. I see. What are you talking about? Dutch holiday. The cookies, though, they're so good. Why? Well, well, there's a new day coming, but. All right, milk noodle, you ready to start? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna. He's gonna hang back. For now. And this should still be okay, so. Okay, so to catch Odin back up here. You see the room, the next room is not lit at all. And the uh, the brazier over here where the fire is, is very different from the one in the previous room. And the room beyond here is uh, back to being lit again. That's what they all caught with their perception checks. I would suggest Odin to go first, as she has the torch. Ugly. Her torch is no longer burning for some reason. Yeah. Give her his nukes. Weird. Let me try one more thing. I fixed it for me. All right. Yeah. All right. So, uh, all right, go ahead. Talk uh, about it. Talk what you want to do. Damn We're it. All ready I would to say, on. I would say you have Noodle go in front of us towards the next room. Who? Noodle. Odin. Who? Ha! Odin. <laughs> I'm not the only one. You do it too, you know. I know. I guess myself too. Oh yeah, I should have Odin go in front of us. Okay. Yep. I'll go right after. Just walk about like six feet at a time, Odin. You're gonna walk yourself there. Okay. All right. Stop right there. Archer and Alexander. Archer, step forward a little bit. There you go. Alexander, you mean? Yes. Thank you. Y'all are the goddamn the same. All right, you step in the room, and you just hear a scream. Ah! You see this ghostly figure over there to your left charging at you with some kind of a, uh, a sickle-type weapon. Ah, lights! Why can't I grab this thing? Just seeing if that would reset the... Uh the flame but it, it didn't it doesn't uh, reset it for you no I'll like there for us i can't see the flame yeah it's oh, weird there we go all right so let's go ahead and roll uh start the initiative here and we're gonna try out the new combat system so what's the initiative formula uh 2d6 
It should should be the same as last time, right? Actually, this new one is supposed to be one d six, but it's it's fine. We can do one two. One d six. Yeah. Where is my um initiation? That's my initiative. It's uh, like on your character sheet, and it's uh, below your oh, house. You just have to enter the 1d6 formula and tap the little box to the left of where the dice is. Mine says 2d6 right now. Yeah, it's fine. 2d6 is fine. Just roll that. Oh, so I should make it 2d6 as well. well. Well, just change it to 1 then, if you've already done 1. There you go. One is the proper one for this setting. I got it. One D six, you got it? You don't show up yet. Did you put the check in the box for your character to count? Got that. There we go. There you got Sorry, it. Sorry, okay. I did it I did it wrong at first. I just did regular one D six, but I, I just put it in Okay. The check, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, Archer, fix your health. Or wait, that's not your health. Yeah, it is your health. You need to check your health whenever you have. Yeah, how come mine is... Mine says 10 out of 6. Yeah, yeah, well, that was from the last one. You gotta fix your own health. But so, yeah, All go right. ahead and I fix have, it like, if you haven't. Okay. 14. Yeah, so put 14, you know, 14 or whatever. You, it, it probably won't, the first number won't show up, so just make sure the second number is 14. All right, so uh, it looks like, okay. Odin, Archer, Alexander, check. So you have the two rounds, okay? You have the fast round where you can perform an action or move. The slow round where you can perform an action and move. And then the final round, which don't, don't even worry about the final round. So who gets to go first? Odin, what are you gonna do first? You gonna Uh, well, this thing is coming at us from the left, right? Correct. So, uh, I'm gonna turn toward it. And it, you said it was charging us, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I can't see it from the, behind the tree, huh? I have to move. What do you mean? No, you can see it. Well, What's that? Okay, yeah, so, um... I get, I'm gonna cast a spell on it. Wait one sec. Is there a tree I, in front of I you? Do. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah, I forgot we can't see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no okay. trees. It's an open, clear room. I wonder what you were talking oh. about. <laughs> yeah, there's trees in here. Um. Okay. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna do spectral grasp. All right, so you're gonna take a fast turn, basically. Yeah. All right, you're gonna go now. You're gonna perform an action. Okay. So spectral grasp is. Shadowy hands streak towards the target, make an intellect attack roll against its agility. Okay. Its uh, agility is 14. So you need to hit a 14 or higher. Okay. So um, you have a. So you need to make an internet. An intellect, an intellect attack roll, you said? Does it say with any banes or boons or anything? Uh, it says on a success, the target takes 1d3 damage and makes attack rolls with one bane for one round. And attack roll 20 plus, the target takes 1d6. He's based but, uh, It's intellect attack roll. So my intellect is 11. Okay. So you're gonna add, basically you're gonna roll your d20 and you're gonna add one. All right. 
Same. So that's basically going to be the standard now, right? Correct. For anything intellect, anything over 10 is what you get for your bonus. And it has an agility of 14, so you're going to need to hit 14s. Great. Nice work. 15. Okay. So you didn't get the 20 plus damage. Uh, so you're going to just do the 1d3 points of damage. So go ahead and roll uh, 1d3 in the dice. Two. Okay. Takes two points of damage. Oh, that was a little underwhelming, but I, I well, did something. Uh, the most you could get was three, but it also makes attack rolls at negative bands, so that's... That's true. I yeah, like the, cursed it. Yep, the negative yeah. banes are, I think, the bigger the bigger reward for you, especially because this thing is what I was worried about killing you guys. Yeah. So we'll so we'll, we'll see how this fight goes. How you doing, Space Delta man? What you up to? Yeah, but only for one round. It says. Okay, but makes att attack rolls with one bane for one round. Yeah. Right. So what's going to happen is, uh, at the end of every round, there's the resolution phase. So that is when effects end. Right, but since you're doing it for one round, it's going to last this round, and then it's going to fizzle at the end of the next round. I believe that's how it goes. So it's kind of like, uh, depending on when you cast it, it could be a round and a half kind of thing. So that's what the end phase is for: is to resolve effects that continuous effects. So, but all right, so it makes it makes attack rolls with one bane for a round, correct? That's what it says for your spell? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is anybody else taking a fast turn? Oh, yeah. All right. What are you going to do? I'm going to what? Turn to, my le uh, turn to my left. And then, ah, and then I'm going to use a spell. Okay. What spell? Perpetuous Devastation Chaos Attack. Oh, that's right. Ga Damien took that, or, yeah, the Chaos Magic for his character. So. You're welcome, Patrick. Yeah, well, I don't know if you're going to be, your, your teammates are going to thank you or not. We'll see. Go ahead. What's the spell do? Ah, uh, down. I didn't put it down. What's it called? Uh, Carp. Piculous, I'm, uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Carpiculous Devastation Chaos Attack. Uh, okay, I'm looking it up for you real quick. Capricious Devastation. Oh, Capricious, ah. Yeah. A flickering ball of energy leaps from your hand. Make a will attack roll against the target's agility. Okay. And roll a d6. All right. So, what's your willpower? I will. Probably just, is it probably ten unless you've increased it? Is it. eleven. Okay. So you're gonna add it. You're gonna take a d20. And you're gonna roll it. And you're gonna add one to the result. And again, you're looking for a fourteen. This thing has an agility of fourteen. So 13 plus 1 is 14. Right, so you just narrowly cast your spell and you grab it, okay? Oh, actually, no, not yet. That's right, because this is the chaos spell. Okay, now you have to roll a d6. And if it's an even number, you add it to the roll. If it's an odd number, you subtract it from the roll. <laughs> so just roll 1d6 on the dice. Oi. So you subtract, so you miss. You got an 11. Amy? Yes, but on a, on a success, you would have done a crap ton of damage to it. Actually, you would have done even more damage to it if you had got the odd number and still succeeded. Holy cow, 46 damage. Wow. Could theoretically nuke that thing Whoever. when hit. <laughs> That's All what right. I used to first. Okay. 
Um, Alexander, are you saving for yes, the slow so, phase, or are you going to... Well, I actually have a few questions about when I use my talents. Go for they're it. not as straightforward. Okay, which question? Well, what is called trickery? And it says once per round you can make an attack roll or challenge roll with one boon. If you attack with one boon from the talent, your attack deals 1d6 extra damage. Okay, I... so, yeah, I the way I would understand it, uh, it would be you just say, I'm going to use this talent. So that's, you said it's once per combat, correct? Once per round. Once per round? Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Does it say you can't use it again until you rest? No. It has no such specifications. All right. Wow. Okay. I also have another one called Exploit. Opportunity once per round when the total of your attack rule is 20 or higher and exceeds the target number by at least 5, you can take another turn at any point before the end of the round. Wow. So I was wondering how that works. I would I mean, assume I you can do both. I, uh, yeah, so but I assume, but what does it mean then by having to be higher than by at least 5 than the... So... Uh, the uh, the defense of this creature is going to be its agility. It's 14. Okay. So you would need to hit a 19 to be 5 higher. Well, it would have... Well, it would have, in my guess, at least be a 20 because that's a requirement. Okay, then yes. Yes. It would have right. at least be a 20. Mm -hmm. So I can combine those or, or is exploit just something that activates once I have more than 20? I would assume it just activates since it's a talent. D uh, r let me read it real quick for myself. I don't. I. I. I would assume. That you could. Which one is it called? Trickery. No exploit is the one I'm now talk talking about. Trickery is probably the one I'm getting. That's just a boon roll. Okay. This must be a level three rogue talent then. Correct. No. Exploit opportunity. I see. Once per round, when the total number, when your attack total is 20 or higher and exceeds by 5, you can take another turn. Yes? Yes? So it just automatically activates when I have roll 20 or higher? It seems that way, yeah. Alright, then I would probably do a fast attack with trickery. Okay. Toss them dice. Let's see what you get. So I would use a uh, one boon roll, right? Uh, yes. Once per round, so yeah. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> All right. All right, I do have like the agility thing, right? <laughs> if I use my bow. It's like plus two, right? Correct. Not that that yes. Does, not that well, that does if anything you, in this case. Correct. But normally, though, yes, because you're using a finesse weapon. A bow is a finesse weapon, which uses agility instead of strength. Hey, really quick, Constant. Yeah. Um Could you send me the link, or could you tell me what what uh, I should buy uh, for the the book exactly? Because yeah. I'm on yeah. the, the site, and I don't really understand what okay. I'm supposed to get? Yeah, yep. could you just I'll send link me it a link? You. Okay, thank you. Alright, let me uh, let me just resolve this character and then when it's your turn I'll link it to you while you're deciding what you guys want to do. So, uh, all three of you have gone, so now it's this guy's turn. He's going to charge Odin since she was the bravest and first in the room. And it is going to... Oh wow, this thing is nasty. All right. It's going to do a uh, draining touch on Odin. Drain a living target. Dra yeah. Drain. Our living target gains one corruption and takes a minus six penalty to health that lasts until it's completed a rest. Nice. Wait, minus six corruption? No, no, no. One cor you get plus one corruption. 
And you get minus six penalty to health. This thing is nasty. All right. You make strength attacks with one bane. You don't really care about that. Um, if you become incapacitated while you are affected by this attack, you die. Ooh, damn. Yeah, this thing is pretty nasty. Wow. All right. right. Well, um, um, what's it called? Uh... Oh, actually, it's only got an intellect. I see. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that makes my health that. But not yet. Eight. No, 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 no. It has to roll and become successful. What's your defense? Uh, my defense would is uh, agility, right? Or... Yes. Eleven. <clears throat> okay. Eleven. So let's see. All right. It gets a ten. And it has no bonuses. In fact, I believe it has negatives. So it, it does not drain you. So it is it's finished. Nice. All right, and it's your turn again. Fast turn, slow turn. What are you doing? Odin. I'll go slow turn this time. Okay. Odin. Uh. uh... I want to do another fat. Or no, no, no. I'll, I'll do a slow turn. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. What does the slow turn do move, again? It's just... Move and action. I can't do two what? actions with the slow turn? No. No? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to move a little further back. And I'm oh, going no, 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 to... no, no, you gotta stay where you are. Come back. If you're doing a slow turn, you gotta wait for the slow round. Oh, okay. Oh, that's after he attacks, huh? Right, well, after he attacks, the, the round ends, all effects dissipate, and actually he's supposed to take a, a, a bane to that attack, because you hit him with it too, so he would have still missed. Okay, so now, yeah. if you're taking a slow turn, then Archer, are you taking a slow turn or a fast turn? I'm taking a fast turn again. Okay. What are you doing? I want to use the same devastation chaos attack. Oh, okay. One more thing. I forgot to tell you this. Um, you guys all have fortune. Okay. This is the kind of like the story points in Alien where you get to reroll stuff. Uh, Ring a bell? Yeah, that's it. Like the, um, so, stress. One. You only, you just get it one time. Alright, one uh, per adventure. Yeah, here's, here's what the effects you can choose. You can, when the result of a d20 is a failure, you can use your fortune to re-roll. No, to turn, yeah. You could expend fortune to turn the failure into a success. So you get one auto success. Alright, when another player rolls a d20, you can expend your fortune to grant two boons to the roll. So one of you could give your fortune to Damien and he would get two boons to his roll. Um, just as an example. And then and when any... This... Sorry, we can only use this once during each session or once during Rest. the entire... Okay. Once during each session. Okay. Uh, okay. When any player, including you, rolls a d6, you can expend fortune to automatically roll a 6. So if you wanna, if you if you're rolling with boons, for example, or you're rolling damage, you can use your fortune, and your damage will automatically be six plus. For example, you understand? And you get fortune for basically the same thing. If you uh, make the adventure fun, you do fun role playing, you sing songs at the beginning of the adventure. Those kind of things get you fortune the next adventure. So, no. Milk Little, you will definitely have fortune next adventure. That's. Foregone conclusion. Wait, so I should wait, so I should have fortune now. Correct. You all, you yeah. all do. You all do have now. I, I forgot to tell you about fortune. I just, I just wanted to uh, before we got into this deep combat with this thing because this thing is really nasty. I'm worried about it killing you, to be honest. <laughs> so I want to make sure you have all of your uh, options available to you. All right. So I'm gonna use exact same devastation chaos attack. Okay, so this is where you could use your fortune to make that roll a six, if you wanted. That's that's you know, an even, isn't it? Yep. So it would add to your roll. So you would definitely hit it. 
Or you could save it to see if you hit it, and then make one of your damage rolls an auto six. Or you could save it for something else. I'm gonna save it. Okay. So go ahead and roll your uh, roll. Uh, just roll a a bane, or a, or a boon, and your a roll a boon. Either way, we'll figure it out that way. It'll probably uh, just be faster. Uh, uh, just with a, a bane or a boon of one. Just roll one of those two. We'll edit it on the fly. All right, so you got a 19, and you rolled a 3, which automatically subtracts, so you got a 16, so you actually succeeded, and you're going to do the 2d6 damage to it. Actually, no, 4d6 damage to it, right? I don't know. I don't have it on my... A flickering ball of energy through your hand. Okay. You rolled the d6, so you subtracted. But you still hit it because you only needed a 14. You apply... Okay, we got that. On a success, you succeeded because you exceeded 14. You understand how all that works so far? Yeah. You, you saw how you beat the 14? You got the 19 minus 3. Okay, 16. So, uh, on a success roll, the target takes 2d6 damage. Okay? Plus 2d6 extra damage if you had a penalty roll, which you did because you rolled an odd number. So you're going to roll 4d6 now, and that's how much damage this thing's about to take. Wow, Damien, you're about to blow this thing out the water. 17. Holy crap. Be gone, foot! <laughs> Alright, it's literally got one health left. Or you can use your fortune to just drop it dead right here. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I thought so. Alright. Alright, slow turn. Uh, well, we're going to try to drain on uh, Odin again. So it's going to be D20 minus... Uh, well, actually with a boon, or with a bane, rather, because of uh, Odin's spell from last turn. So, a bane. Oops, I had Odin checked, but it's fine. Um, 15, okay, is 12, minus 3, yeah, it's a miss for the drain again. Should have just done a regular melee attack, oh well. Alright, now it's the uh, slow turn, so go ahead, Odin, take your, take your move, and then your action. Oh, he's floating as well as that. Okay, uh, one second. Okay, so I have... Damn it, I really should have studied what I my talents Test. before I uh, came. It has one health left, just FYI, so maybe... You can it only has it. one health? Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, do... Yeah, Damien um, just rocked it. Rocked it. <laughs> okay, I'll do a spectral grasp. Okay. And let's see. What's that one do? I'm trying to look for it. One sec. Spectral grass. Streaks toward the target. Make an intellect attack roll against its agility. On a success, largest target gotcha. takes. It's the same one that I did, basically. Okay. okay. You make yeah. an intellect attack and you do a 1d3 damage and the negative to the banes. Check. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, go ahead, make your attack. Or make your move first and then your attack. Because that's why you're on the slow turn, I assume. Oh, well shit. Now my move doesn't really even matter. I don't even need to do it. Well, I, can I move after I attack? Mm, sure, if you want. Uh, okay. So. Well it's, right, well, it's right on top of you, so if you attack from here, you're probably going to take a bane. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna see you, Alex. Go far, a little bit further. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for dropping in, man. There you go. Uh, and then I'm going to 1d20. Wait, 
was that freaking it? Yes. Oh my, wow. Terrible. Your spell streaks past it and just does nothing but pisses it off. Sighs. All right. Now it is up to um, Alexander, correct? Yes. All, All right. right. I'm just going to run over here. And then okay. shoot with trickery again. Okay. So, yep. 16, and I would add 2, right? Correct. So yes. that's 18. That's correct. Alright, so you hit it. Now you roll your damage. Uh, for that that's bow... That's just a 1d6. No, for that bow... Well, yes, go ahead, roll 1d6. All right, four damage, and you drop it right where it's at. It just oh. sort of explodes in a glittery light and disappears. All right, combat's over for the moment, so... You want to free? Just stay in this room, but you're welcome to move around. Just let me know when you're ready to move to the next room. It was. I don't know why I was worried about that. I thought it was going to kill one of you. <laughs> well, he has like one powerful wizard. No joke. He got that sweet 19. Hehehe. <laughs> I don't see anything specific in this room. You don't? Okay. Well, it's like... Well, I see like a dead goblin here. Alright. You ready to move on then? Should yeah. we do a perception check on the goblin? Can you, we do that? Yeah, you can just do it. Why don't you just do a general perception check on the room? Okay. Yeah. All three of you go for it. One each one. Yep, and just add your, uh, well, tell me what your, the total is with your modifier on it. Ooh. Odin that just, terribly. Odin just go sit down somewhere, okay? Let the, let the adults <laughs> handle this. All right, actually, they'll okay. come back, come back over here. I need you to be back where you were so I can show them this. <laughs> come back a little bit more. Oh, stop. Perfect. Nope. Nope. Come back. Step. Oh, one more two perfect actually no you're chasting another shadow take another step <laughs> wow here this is perfect freeze red light okay all right so uh alexander and archer if you look over to your left you notice a skeleton there. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. I run to it. What is it? Why my character? Uh, the goblin. Yeah. The goblin looks to have been. It's sort of very skinny and kind of its skin's a little got almost like dark stains around it. It's no, probably. I do not see this land. Huh? I literally do not see a skeleton. You know, you don't. Do you see it, Ultra? Yeah, I don't see a skeleton. I just see the. I see a the goblin. goblin. A yeah. You do see the skeleton, Ultra? Well, yes. The skeleton is all the way on the other side where I am, right? Correct. Yes. You're right oh, next to. Oh, it's where you it. are. Okay. Wait. Let me walk over. Oh, okay. All right. Just making sure you guys are killing me. Oh, I see it. So, how do you see that? Because I have eyes. <laughs> so do I, but I didn't see anything. Well, it was out of the corner of your eyes. So now you should be able to see it. Yeah, well, my perception was too high or so. Okay, so you see this skeleton here. And the goblin over by the door, of course, too. 
And like I said, the goblin it looks like it probably got soul drained by that thing a few times. It's got some black stains on its body and looks very shriveled up. Anything specific we notice about the skeleton? Looks to be human. So, is there anything we can tell about it, how it died, or...? N no, it doesn't look to have any kind of obvious, you know, like, puncture wounds through the ribs or holes in the skull or anything, but uh, it looks to have been there a very long time. That's not it doesn't. Good. It doesn't look fresh by any stretch of the imagination. It probably means this place. It's not a place where people linger long. In that case, we should go. Okay. We should keep moving. Yes. All right. All right. Go ahead and just step into the doorway of the next room and stop. All right. This room uh, again has. Whoops! Get through my Windows key. Sorry. Has this uh, odd-looking brazier next to it again very different from like you saw in the first room and then you see uh, two rooms from here which way do you want to go you can you can come into the room a little bit more there guys so you can see interesting two ways out No, no, no. I said there's two ways. I didn't say there was two ways out. So two ways in. Didn't no. Uh, well, okay. You, you get the point. Two ways to go. Any preference? Odin's quiet. I can't really see anything. Uh, in yeah, I don't. Well, um. Wait. This could be you, game time. Well, you know yeah. what I, Well, you know what they say when in, when in doubt, head left. Is that what they say? I don't know. I'm willing to go left. Okay. All right, just step into the doorway of the next room then and stop there. It's shrewd game time. It would. You want me to Wait. move you, Odin? Wait, shit! Can I do something really quick? Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, I want to. Uh... Wait, because I can uh, harvest. I want to harvest the soul of that that thing we just fought, if possible. Yeah, uh, uh, it exploded. That you saw. There's uh, no. Oh, well, uh, damn. Let me Never let me read. Let me read it. What page is it on? Let me read it real quick. Uh, I don't know what page it's on. I haven't. I haven't actually downloaded it yet. Oh, uh, okay. I just bought it. Oh, I yeah. see. Here it is. Harvest Soul. A ball yeah. of faint light rises from the. Dark. Yeah, you would need. You would need, to target the creature's source. Do you know the like uh, the source you would want to target? Target the creature's source. Um, does it have? Is the its weapon still there? Nope, the weapon is not there. And the body's not there. You saw the creature just sort of explode and dissipate. Oh, cries. Okay, then I guess I can't. Never mind. She was almost. Wait, dead. so are we. We're choosing between the doors right now? Yes, they wanted you to want... go left. Alright, I guess I'll stick, I'll stick with you guys. I don't okay. want to. Be an idiot here. You don't want to face one of those things by yourself? No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right, you come into the room. You can look around. Oh, this isn't the way I thought it was. God dang it. All right, you come in the room. It looks like it's a dead end. But you do notice it has one of those uh, familiar braziers from the first room. It looks, you know, it's got the more of the wired appearance, and the other one's got kind of a bowl. 
Looks like a dead end. Yeah, let's head back. Yep, dead end. Right, let's oh. head back. Alright, go ahead and head back. Mm. The only other option. Okay, um... I mean, I guess... I, I kind of want to do uh, the, the sense magic thing on this room, actually. In this room? Oh, in the empty room. Or no. Or is that stupid? Uh, DM. Uh, no, what? No you, point. Want, you just want to sense magic in here generally? No, no, no. In this room. Like this... The one, the one that's empty. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, you're just casting a, a generic detect magic spell. You're not, you're not, like, for example, going up to the torch thing over there and touching it and saying, is this magical fire or something? You just want... Yeah, no, just just in the this room, yeah. All right, well, the magic here is strong enough, you don't have to roll for it. You, this, this place is definitely magical. This whole thing is in here. This whole carved out structure. Magic coming from, like, everywhere. The walls, the crystals, the floor, the ceiling, everything. Okay. The runes okay. up on the wall. Alright. Uh, if you want to walk into the next room, just walk into the door and stop. Alright. Mm, nothing special about this room. Alright. Carry you on. Alright. Okay. All right. Next room. Looks. Yeah. Come on in. Uh, clear. Come on in. I say clear. <laughs> clear. <laughs> Sorry, my old uh, shooter shooter game habits. The next room again. Kind of spacious. Nothing. You can feel the air just kind of blowing through. Nothing unusual yet that you notice. Next room. All right, this is where you would get another chance to split again. Or, well, you wouldn't go left or right. You can kind of decide which way you want to go. Any preference? Well... When I doubt head left. I'm just going to say that the left looks a little Wait, more a unsafe option? because it's dark over there, and the right looks a little bit safer. Well, it um, looks like we have three options here. Three. Yes, That's directly two. left. No, just three. One on either each side of the room. One directly left, one le left to our front. Oh, one there's one on the right. right. That's really dark. Yes. Let's go there. <laughs> it looks really dangerous, but let's go there. I agree. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That's probably let's, that one. It was it's... kind of like hidden. Let's let's go that way. Danger right. equals value. <laughs> All right. All right, just go into the next room and stop. All right, you it is indeed dark in here. There's no sign of anything that was ever here meant to light the way. All right. All right, let's go. How through. just tell me how you're kind of approaching this. Are you tiptoeing? Are you going just hog wild? We're being we're being quiet. We're being quiet. Okay. All right. The only thing that gives us away is the light. Okay. All right. So you're going very slowly, methodically, right? That's yep, what I'm... Just okay. ignore the running. <laughs> I understand. Go for it. Next room. Okay. You can see just barely a faint light coming from the next room. With this room, again, very dark. No sign of it ever meant meaning to have been lit. No signs of no braziers, torches, no bodies, nothing. Let's keep moving then. Yeah. There's light in here. Ooh, what's that? Oh wait, no, never mind. It's a tree that shouldn't be there. Yeah, sorry. All right. So again, you see this room, and this has one of the the braziers that are the of the bowl, and the next room is also dark. Come back, come back, come back. I want to explore. Well, you you can only do it a little bit at a time. 
If you want to explore, just just walk up like six feet at a time, and and pause. Give me a chance. So to... I'll be right back. Just let okay. me follow these guys around. If I'm not back yet. Okay, go for it. Okay, same. I've been drinking a lot of freaking. Go ahead. Like, we'll take a break. I, I need to pee. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's just start. <laughs> all right. I just moved your character up there for you. Okay. All right. You can see a well, hello there. goblin in the door. Wait, no, no, no. Come back. Stay. Come back. Nope. You see a, uh, a dead goblin in the door, and then... Please turn out your torches. Hello, the absolutely. You, oh. you son of a... That scared the really shit out of me. You hurt the man, Odin. That was awesome, actually. No, don't ever do that again. Archer is still scared because of the spiders. Alright, so what My. you doing? Uh, I hate I you. Suggest you listen. I hate you. I step into the darkness without a torch. I just want to stay here and proclaim my hateness for Corsair right now. <laughs> Alright, Odin, you putting out your torch? Well, I think you already did. Alright, we'll step into the room if you're going to step into the room without a torch. Yep, I can't see anything. I'm not coming mm. in anyways. Just waiting on Odin. Wait, what, what page did you say? Sorry, I'm old man. 137, boomer. <laughs> 135, sorry. Alright, necromancy, and the other one was... Uh... Well, that's the N page, so you need to go up for A to N, and down for N to Z. Whatever the name of the tradition is, so... Oh, Okay. Necromancy. So, you want me to move you in? Yes, yes. Sorry. Alright. What's the nice recording? Don't you dare do it again. Thank you. Let me turn uh, the lights that? on for you. Damn, that's great. That's scary, man. Ah, hello. Alright, the lights slowly turn on, and you see the oh, floating this figure this in front of you. You guys are all stacked on top of each other. How about give each other some breathing room? Oh. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're right. good together. <laughs> Alright, since you turned the lights off, on, I mean, it has become real laggy for me. Same. Really? Uh, it's not that bad. It, it was laggy. It's, it's, it's a little bit laggy. Oh, but it's not that bad. Yeah. It's laggy for me, so. Alright. Yeah, well, well, it's not too bad. I can deal with it. Alright, I move up to this floaty man. It's been a long time since I've had visitors. Oh, piss off that voice. Well, we've come from afar to see you great person and how did you know I was here good luck no Farim told us that you knew uh, his father the king Farim you mean Sanbear Bobakar's son yes yeah him and how is Sanbear Bobakar now Unfortunately, deceased. Yeah, he met a terrible end. I see. And how did he die? He was killed uh, by marauders and, uh. Yeah, just marauders and that, those people, right? Stabbings? Yeah. He was my greatest friend, and I his for a very, very long time. But that was quite a long time ago before I was brought here. Alright, oh, no, no, no. Listen, how long did it take you to get that turn of voice? 
Why are you here? And why can't you leave? I've been in prison here for my crimes against the kingdom. But perhaps if you are willing to do me a favor, I will be glad to answer any questions you have. What favor? Take these bones, destroy them in the brazier outside the door, and place that goblin in the doorway, half in and half out, so that I can leave this place. Okay. Well, oh, that sounds... that, not too quickly. Uh, dude, I... What are your I... intentions when you leave this place? I don't really know. I couldn't say. I don't know how long I've been here. Besides... Would you know... Would you I'm... know a way to destroy this passage? To destroy it? You could do yes. that many ways. You could bring the mountain down. You could seal it off at one entrance. Okay, now, no, 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 no. serious question right now. How, do you, how, how long did it take you to get this voice? Yeah, what? It's, I'm using the voice changer. Get my money's I know. worth. I know, but how long did it take you to get this voice? It's a stock voice. Is it one? No. Oh, that's how I get my Space Marine voice. Yeah, I know that, but how long did it take you to get the white voice, if you don't want me? It's a stock voice. I just clicked on it, and it worked. So, oh. a half a second to click. So, Space Marine has, has their own... No, that one, that one I had set. to I had to adjust, but let's... We're getting out of here. The, um, we're breaking immersion. Yeah, Archer. I, I wanna know. Who, who alright, alright. Back back in back, let's office. go back to the game. So do you promise not to do any harm when we release you? I will make no promises, because I don't know what promises I might have to break. Once I leave this place, I don't know what the outside world is like. I've been here for I don't know how long. It would be very improper to break a promise, or even to make a promise that I couldn't keep. I so still each question for now. Well, who knows what he might do when he leaves this place. True, but if he does turn bad, I can just nuke him. <laughs> Alright. Um, I want to... <clears throat> I want to, if possible, what, ask. Real, real quick, was that conversation you just had out loud? Yes. Nope. Yes, it was. <laughs> no, nope. it was I'm not. Trying to be confront confronting. God. Yeah. I'm not being right. important. No. Yeah, the, just just say from now on, if you want to have a, a conversation amongst yourselves, just say out of character, so that I will know that the other characters around you cannot hear it, and it'll be uh, easier to keep the 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 fourth wall boundary up there. Uh, Alright, so our character, if he does do something bad, I will nuke him. Alright, All right, I uh, run over to Odin, nature, and whisper in her ear, Jim. Yeah, it's gonna, I was gonna ask about that. Alright. Last... So I wanna, I wanna take out the gem and ask him if he knows about it. So, do you, do you know about this uh, gem? Uh, the Bovacar uh, <coughs> had it in his um, treasury. It does look familiar. But before I answer any questions, I think it's only fair that you keep your part of the deal. I will remain and answer as many questions as you like. Any questions that I can answer, of course. I feel like we're getting trust him for now. I feel like this is gonna go terribly wrong and he's gonna turn on us, but and I'm talking I'm talking quietly to you guys, by the way. 
Uh, I feel like this guy is gonna betray us, but well, he... before before you continue, yeah, you're in a room, a closed room that's gonna echo, and you guys are standing like three feet apart, and he's like six feet from you. So okay, so I walk over, I walk over, and I whisper, "Guys, huddle, huddle, yeah, okay," and I'm like. Hey guys, I don't really trust this guy, but I mean, fuck it. Hey, Sultana. I feel like we can trust him. Really? Uh, I, I mean, he's pretty sus, guys. But yeah, let's, but he was the team's friend. Yeah, no, but think about it. The king was kind of sus himself. He, I mean, he had a treasury full of. You know, cursed items. Okay, one and... that was successful. He, 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 okay, one, okay, one that was successful. One key question: If this man was imprisoned by the former king, his former friend, then wouldn't you want to harm his son? He I mean, doesn't know where true. he is. That is true. Oh, this is getting good. Or he know that he might be at, um... Cast fireball. Let's vote. Port. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Yeah, but let's just think about it, because he, you know, it's true, he drama. was in prison here drama. for a reason, and... You know, Wait. there's Wait. a chance, Wait. there's a chance that he is evil. Wait, Wait. Wait. sorry. Just one chance. minute. Go ahead. We, we we were told that he was in prison for crimes against the kingdom, right? Yeah. What crimes? Well, he won't. The thing is, he won't answer any of our questions. He won't answer any of our questions until we agree. I mean, we could try to deceive him, but I think he's gonna want to wait until he's outside, and in which case he might he might be so powerful. We don't know how par powerful he is, too. He might be so powerful as to be able to just like, you know, fuck everything up. All right, but I'll count it. All right, so I'll count it now. But I have a spell that can nuke him to New Jersey. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, let's just trust him for now because we, we made a deal with the goblins and we need him. All right. But, but we, we should, you just know, be cautious of him. We should not share any information with him. Yeah, don't. Yeah. So who's gonna do the bones and I'll. Sorry, someone do the bones and I'll do the um, goblin. Slurs, constant, will do the goblin volley. Alright, I'll go get the bones. You guys should be able to drag the goblin and the bones. I have them set that way. If you can't, let me know. Which goblin? The one on the floor to my right. Well, there's two goblins. Yeah, I can't do it. I'll fix it. Hang on. Yeah, you make it so that we can't touch anything. Yeah, but I can direct this one. Yeah, and I can't get the bones out. Try now. Try now. Alright, I direct one out. Not not out. He's... No. He said half, half in, half out. Right here, then. Alright, I got the bones. That'll do, I think. All right, now he wants you to burn those on the little lamp thing to the, uh, to the left of Alexander. Uh, where? Where? Uh, outside the room. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, outside room to the left. All right. All right. So actually doing that, actually, I want to say a few words to um. Right, the well, king's friend here. Without hold on one sec. Um, oh, without the, well, hold on one sec. Let's. We, what are you doing with the bones? Is Odin taking the bones out? Odin, yeah, yeah, sorry, I couldn't really. I I should have uh, walked with it. Yeah. All right, all right. So you, that's anywhere is good. I'll try. I understand what you're trying to do there with that. I'll move it. All right, so my, all right, I will not. Here. That's good. All right, I took a bit right. of distance from it in case he goes wild. Oh, so you're leaving the room. Yes, I am. Alright, so I want to talk to this guy without those two knowing. Right. Well, you're, are you throwing the bones in, uh, Odin? Throwing the bones in the razor to destroy them? Well, this is the best I can do. It's. I know, it's like... I, I'm going to delete it. That's why I'm asking. If, you're, if your intention is to throw them in, I'm just going to delete them. 
But yeah, wait, um, wait, 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 before she does that, though, I want to talk to the staff about those two knowing before he gets released. Uh, okay, well, oh, oh, know, hang tight then. Let me see, let me see what uh, Archer wants. All right, go ahead, Archer. You got your um, voice on? Yes, he does. All right, all right. <laughs> So you two, do, so, so, so just to remind you, you do, you two don't know this. What's your real plan, mate? What do you mean? You were imprisoned here by your friend, your best friend, the king. Why is that? When you have finished doing what I've asked, I will explain everything for you. I will go back there and tell him to stop do and to not put the bones on the fire if you do not answer that question. Tell me now, in your own words, why did your best friend put you in this prison? I have been here for a long time. And I could easily kill you instantly if I chose. But I have not and, yet. And I can nuke you to New Jersey. I think we have a I think we're in a dance to him, mate. Right? Alright, I didn't so, already so, uh, so I'll make you a deal. <laughs> you answer that one question, right? And I'll l uh, uh, l let him do it. Matters are very important. Perhaps so you should uh, try a different line of questioning. I have asked for something very simple. And have it granted you very much in return. Alright, so while they're talking, I just put it in. <laughs> because... <laughs> Oh, okay, I tried. Oh, yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. All right. Do it. I tried. So you just you're you're destroying the bones. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the bones are quote unquote in there. All right, bones <laughs> destroyed. I tried. If I right. die, I'll kill you. You doing anything else? No, I'm done. I tried. All right. This gonna bite me in the ass, isn't it? Thank you and your friends for destroying the bones. Please have them come back in here so that I know that I'm not being tricked. I'll be fine. Hold on. Uh, stand up. No, I refuse. Uh, uh, stand up. I will drag your ass in here if I have to. No, we have done what you asked. I'm not. Yeah. Really uh, yeah, and he was. Come. No, he's gonna try and lock us in there. And I'm not oh, willing it. to be a part of that. Alright. <laughs> I'll count it now. Ultra, I have a spell that can nuke him to New Jersey. Come on! Yeah, and he says he can kill you in the snap of a finger. <laughs> I'm just, and I'm, and, and I, just, I have a I'm spell that can nuke him to New York. York. Alright, I'm just gonna stand outside the room and tell him I'm not coming any further. You come out here. You can leave now. I am bound to this place. The only way I can leave now is through that goblin's body. Then do it. Once I take that goblin's body, you will not see me again. If you oh, I think have questions saying... answered, you must step away from my only means of ensuring you will keep your word. Wait, wait. You say we won't. Wait. You said we won't see you again. But by that line of words, you're gonna possess that body. Yes. That's how I might uh, be the only way I can leave this room. You have destroyed the bones, so I am no longer bound here. I may now leave the room right. through that and it's goblin's just, uh, body. To answer our question. So, we will hit- so we take- we'll see you again. Just not you. As you. Perhaps. Again, I make no promises. Only that so, I will answer your questions. So what's the reason you were locked up here? Many years ago, during the Great Goblin War, I made a very terrible mistake. I betrayed my people and helped the goblins. It almost cost us our kingdom. They named me Magnus the Betrayer for that crime. And I was imprisoned here by King Obakar. Those bones were cursed. 
and I felt every agonizing moment of pain until the last rat ate the last piece of flesh off of my bones. And then I remained cursed and imprisoned here. Do you know anything about a big circle? I do not. Well. Wait, so how did you how did you help the goblins again? this passage for them. They came and slaughtered many innocents. They attacked from the rear and almost cost us our kingdom to lose the war. Hmm. Why did you decide to open the passage? Why did you want to help them if they were on the opposite side of the war? I felt that I would have been a better ruler than King Bobakar, but Yo. it turns out I was wrong. He's your best friend. As I said, it was a grave mistake. This isn't Game of Thrones. You don't just betray your best friend. <laughs> and I am here for my crime, am I not? Yeah, I'm just saying, you're done. <laughs> It, it, it's a bit weird to just flat out betray your best friend like that. Alright, just a question. Did the king have any other enemies? Oh, the king had many enemies. Any that live outside of imprisonment? Most certainly. Too many for me to name. If you could provide Is specific examples. Is there an uh, arch among them? A mage. Yeah. An arch mage. One that can what that can control skeletons. Well, there was a necromancer that we fought after the Great War of Darkness. Her name was Exida. No, it's not Exida we speak of. Wait, 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 Exida! Yeah, but that's the not lizards. the Archmage. Yeah, the, the lizards! Exodor! Yeah, I know who Exodor is, but it's not the one I'm referencing. Oh, oh what, you mean the one that's with the king? The, sorry. Yes, Foster. No, okay, is there another Archmage? Because there's one right now pretending to be the king, and he has a advisor who's also an Archmage. You can also control uh, scans. No, you're reciting it wrong. The king isn't an uh, archmage. Yeah, the oh, king is, is just is. a regular. <laughs> yeah, I said... Yeah, but no, I said he has an advisor who's an archmage. Well, anyways, you know, do not know of such an archmage. Apart mm -hmm. from Exeter. None, but Exda is a necromancer, not an archmage. You spoke of raising the dead, and she is the only one I know that can do that. Well, then we have a new powerful foe to face. Well, actually, is controlling skeletons and raising the dead the same thing, though? Well, skeletons are dead, aren't they? Yeah, but that's not exactly raising the dead. That. I mean, he's controlling the skeletons. Well, I mean, we have had a case of the dead rising in this environment. Do you think Exeter would have that power to yeah, control but there was... them all the way over here? Yeah, but they were zombies in a way. Well, we yeah, what? That's why I'm asking if Exeter could have done that from where she is. Well, let's ask so, him. Miss... Yes. Do you think Exida would be powerful enough to control the undead far away from her actual, actual body? Not that far. The last I knew of Exida, she was in control of the Grinding Wastes, King Sandbar's former kingdom. She seems to still rule in the Grinding Wastes, so you don't think she's 
responsible for what's been happening in this environment, in this surrounding area. Not, a, not at that distance. How long has this been going on? A couple of weeks, I imagine. Um, well, it depends. How long is four adventures? Well, I think a couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I think, think it's just been like, has... or a week at uh, most, or at least. Like week two weeks. Well, yeah. yeah, more two than weeks. we had five days travel to Bone Drift. Back and oh, forth okay, yeah. So ten. like two weeks, yeah. Yeah, two, three weeks, I imagine. Has anything else been going on? Well, we're uh, at lighting. Uh, the yeah, blue, one... yeah, blue lights in the star. blue light, you said? Yeah. We did. Several weeks ago, a very interesting being, a visitor, the first one I had seen in, well, since I was in prison here, came through. He had an odd blue light. It said nothing to me. It stood just outside of my grasp. I spoke to it, but it did not respond. Shortly after, these goblins came through, and I can hear them, and I can hear my former lieutenants attacking them as they begin to pass through. Did you catch a glimpse of this person? I could not. They remained outside. This room, this room is where my power is limited to. I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> so I just realized what I said early on. <laughs> Did it look like something that could physically kill cattle and other kind of beasts? You must mean the invisible visitor. Yeah. The visitor with the blue light. I believe is being pursued by something even I could not discern. I only sensed its presence, but I am limited in my powers. I did not see it. I could only watch the being with the blue light run away as it approached. Ooh, sounds like that being with the blue light scared off the other one. There's definitely a lot to think about. Who if anything specific to ask him still? Uh is he blue light? Did we did we mention about the lightning? Or is that no. also the blue light? Uh I well, we didn't mention light. that the the goblins said that you know the their land that it was their land and then we took it or something. He's probably they probably referenced the goblin more. Yeah, but no, <laughs> no, because it's it's the goblin war was before, right? Like now we're dealing it with it now, and they think that we're killing well, them with the big circle. Well, he didn't know anything about the big circle. That's what. That's is something I've asked already. But Wait, yeah. the gem. Yeah, I showed him the gem. I didn't ask it, did he? Yeah, I, I showed him. No, I asked him. But... Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. I didn't ask the question. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, what do you know about this gem? It was my weapon during the Great War of Darkness. Sandberg took it from me when he imprisoned me here. Oh, this gem. This little gem. There is a demon trapped inside. What's that? Is? Hmm. What demon? Is there any way we can activate its powers for, to our benefit? Yeah, is there any way you could teach us to use it? Uh, well, I can know. I mean, the last time someone tossed it, besides you, Odin, She's she she's still in the village. Um recovering. 
No, 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 no. She touched the gold. What? No, she, the, she touched the cursed gold, not the oh. not the gem. I was the only one who touched the gem. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, um, this. Oh, oh, oh! What? One, one more thing. Uh, Wait, uh, uh, you first. Yeah, I was gonna say there there was a chest in uh in King Bobakar's uh um castle where that had um like a it had a symbol on it like a circle it, do you know anything about a chest like that that does not sound familiar to me uh, all right now. okay that was what? all uh what demon is in that gym It's just a minor demon. I used its power to kill. Could you teach me how to use it? That's a promise I'm not sure that I could fulfill. I don't know what the world is like now. Perhaps, maybe. But I don't want to make any promises that I cannot keep. Alright. Do you think that... Hmm. But could you at least promise not to attack us? As I said, I don't know what the state of the world is. I have been here for a very long time. I don't know well, who you are. I don't know anything well, about you. you. I you cannot make this. those promises. If you well, accept the body of a goblin, I would probably suggest you to join them. It's your best way of knowing the world. Yeah, we can yes. take you back to the goblin village if you want. Goblins are filthy, rude little creatures with no manners. I have no desire to stay with them. I know where I will check first, but I appreciate your manners. And you're offered to show me around. I just have one more Hello. question of personal nature. So do I. So. I'll take it first. You have fought on the side of the goblins in the goblin war, correct? Oh, we have one battle. Alright, so. Do you know what happened to the goblins after they were defeated? They were forced to the other side of this mountain passage. Do you know anything that is on the other side of this mountain passage? It was simply goblin territory when I was last outside of here. We designed this structure long ago as a tunnel between the two places until the war broke out. Right, so as of recent, goblins have been coming through here as they feared the big circle and that they want us to destroy this passage. Would does any of that, if any goblins come through here, come by you? Several have, as you can see. I have eliminated them for their lack of manners. As I expected. <laughs> Um, but there was nothing unusual about them, just goblins. As far as I was able to tell, they didn't last very long. They did not wish to have polite conversation. Well, then that's all I've got. And I hope whatever you're going to do as a goblin will please you. I won't be keeping that body for long. I simply needed to escape this room. Once I'm out, I will have no longer any need of it. Oh, wait, um, um, you just mentioned that you, you that goblins are 
filthy, ill-tempered, and no matter, uh, don't comment on that, but you just said that. Yes. Well, that's because they are. Yeah, but if you think that of them, why did you join? I thought I could easily manipulate them. They're not very smart. Oh. Uh, thought he could, like, build an army with them or something. They have a burial ground, too, that is just outside of this passage. A short day's walk, maybe less. It's been a while since I traveled at last. But their burial grounds, very powerful magic there. Well, as much as I would like to crush the goblins once and for all. After all, they've murdered my parents. But... Hey, what? Where was this? This was my introduction to my character. It's a I while ago. I can't remember yet, but it's, it's, it's been a while. I hate goblins. As much as I hate them, I unfortunately have to say that for now we have a truce with them. Hopefully yeah, we'll be able way. to eradicate them once we've dealt with what we've dealt with. Yeah, well, I totally I think... didn't need to restrain this guy. <laughs> I think what he's saying is that he can, he can root like a... And may he, I ask you one more question of personal nature? When you betrayed the kingdom for the goblins, did you raid a certain village with the goblins? I released the goblins. I don't know where they went specifically, but they did attack all of the settlements here in Darnthor. Then you no are way. responsible for the death of my parents. Ah, oh, here we go. I cannot say. Perhaps. Perhaps you're a filthy liar. Hey, 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 That's hey, very hey. Rude. No. I have been very that. polite with you. I'll counter, I'll I counter. Have answered all of your questions. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. Wait, no, right, I'll counter. Wait, 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 no, come, come back, Odin, come <laughs> back. Come back, oh, Odin. Gonna, nope, I'm come back, Odin. Nope, come back, saying, Odin. Come, come back, wait, Odin. It is, it is fair. You guys just split without doing anything? Absolutely. Come back. You guys get to, uh, you guys get to, uh, you know, uh, you guys get to share in the reward. So do just tell me what you're. Okay, well, tell me what you're doing you before you do I it. I hold back. I hold back Alexander because he's being too much right now. Okay. Yeah. Same. All right, uh, Alexander, are you uh, are you going to try to break free from them? Like, what what, do you, what are your intentions here? What are you what are you doing? Well, I actually want to. You actually want to try to break free? <laughs> no, I let you hold me back. Okay. And I turn around and walk out the room. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. Uh, not yet, not yet. No, you can go back. If you let him hold you back, you you guys gonna say anything else while you're holding him back to the to the guy? Any more questions? Well, I'm gonna tell Alexander, do not try, do not mess with the guy that can snap his fingers and kill you. I just whisper um, back. Wait, I so wanna. Ask so only Archer can hear if he steps out of this room as that goblin I'm shooting an arrow in him he may not live alright uh, what were you saying so you, Archer you're holding on to Alexander for now I am yeah All right. I want to um, ask if uh what he means by the burial ground has a lot of power, and yeah. During the Great War of Darkness, a great battle was fought there. Many, many died on both sides. It has great power there. The body, uh, or or. Beneath the goblins are buried 
the combatants of the two, two factions of that war. Well, maybe three factions, but we could do very little to help. Okay, um, I'll chat to real quick. Austin, is there a key to turn off that voice mode and turn on automatically? When you turn it on and off automatically? No. Yeah, like, like uh, press um, number one, it'll turn off, and, and I can say again, it's on. You might set up a hotkey for it, I don't know. I uh, well. Alright, so, <laughs> I'm still holding, holding back, Alexander. Uh, Got anything else to ask? Say? I don't know, I'm just trying to hold back the poor captain guy who's going to kill! I mean, anybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm, mm, I'm good. If you're out of this place, would you be willing to make it up to me? No. What? <laughs> That's savage. That. <laughs> Oh, I get. Oh, I get out of here. All right, I walk out. Just. Right, I'm still holding you. No, oh, no, oh, you can't. You can't. Okay. Wait, get back in here. Get back in here. Yeah, if you try to head towards that door, he's gonna bolt, so that's why you gotta come back. That's why you gotta tell me what's gonna happen ahead of time. Because right. as soon as you I'm start to leave, something's going to right. happen. So as soon as you're done asking questions... I'm walking out and I'm... I, I'm, I'm walk walking out and I'm moving the body. Well, no, you can't get there that fast. I'm if you're gonna start up. to walk out, that's fine. I wanna step, like, backwards, like, toward the door. Yeah. Okay. So I facing him. I'm just going to follow these two. Alright, well. Then, uh, he sees you start to walk out. He snaps his fingers. Disappears. And, uh, teleports into that goblin corpse. And then just snaps his fingers again and disappears. Told you. Yeah, guys, I kind of feel like we made a deal with the devil and that's not going to go too well later, but... Oh, if I'm... I see the goblin again, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, were, we, we, we were kind of hoping to kill him, Austin. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I say, you did tell me, he's, he's he moves in seconds. A, a second, he has magic. So do I. Well, that's why I was asking you what you were going to do. You just said you were moving. You didn't say you were going to cast a spell at him. He's not here. Um, you know, no, no, um, or just say he's going to kill him as soon as he, uh, he went into that Goblin's body. Magic. Yes, but I can nuke him to New Jersey. We can do they, There are creatures with more than that health. That health you got was a uh, level... I don't know what you would call it. Level 25 creature. It's, it's, it's worth 25 points. That guy was worth substantially more. If you had attacked him, you would have died. Probably. But New Jersey? Yeah. Is a small New state. Jersey. That guy's Texas. Fine, Manhattan. There you go. <laughs> Manhattan's smaller than New Jersey. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> Alright, what, what, what are you doing next? He has Just teleported out. Um, we gotta close the, the um, hatchway now. You know, do what the companies want us to do. How do we know that's what they want? They said to do it. Oh, they said to close it up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go do yeah, that. Which way do we, we go? Know where we're gonna do it, though. Well, yeah, we're not gonna... Way? We don't want to explore the rest of the cave, or... No... Uh, Right. Fine, we're just going up, uh, building it up. Okay. You don't want to look for treasure or nothing? I mean, we can go back to the... to that, uh... 
room with the two other doors. Oh, yes. And as he leaves and disappears. Yeah. Oh, oh lights go out. Lights out. Okay. Torch. Torches. There we go. Oh, man. Finally, no more lagging. Alright, my entire menu disappeared. Spacebar or control space, if you had put it all away. Thank you. Yep. Alright, so where should we blow up the damn thing? Well, I want to explore first in here. Yeah, well, we can do that as well. We just need to go back to where we split off. Oh, but we went into this direction. Let's see what we're gonna do next. So this is where we had the other options if we want to explore further. Yep, remember just go up to the door to the room you want to go into first. And okay. then stop there. Up to you guys. We came from yeah. here, so this one's the way back. Yeah. And we have two other ways we can potentially go. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Wanna go left? Yeah. Sure. Uh. This left. <laughs> y'all gotta. No. Y'all start labeling them. Door number one. Door number two. No, door number three. This left. I'm on the, I'm on the one to the left. Yeah, we take the other left. And that's All white. Right. No, it's All left right. from where we're coming. That's left. No, it's not. It's still white. No, we came from the other side, so that's still front left. It's well, e left. either way, you're going this way. So that's fine. Yeah. I'm not entirely yeah, yeah, yeah. sure you're going the correct direction, but okay. Well, I Go mean, ahead. We're just exploring. Okay, yeah. So I, I walk in this room. Back. Oh, yeah. I want to explore a little bit. We feel confident. Okay. And then you come into this room, and you see pretty much the same thing. One of the braziers with a bowl. Oh, there's another uh, door here. I say we move on. Oh. Move on in. Stop at the entrance. What is that? There's a guy on the right. Yes, yeah, he. All right, and he again, just screams and just charges at you. So roll your initiative again. Oops. God dang, okay. Uh, Archer, six. Alexander, two. Odin, four. Okay. So, Archer, fast turn or slow turn? Fast turn. Okay, what are you doing? Devastation chaos shot, man. <laughs> All right, all right, go ahead and roll your, uh, your boon or bane. Take your pick with one. 1d6 plus one, or 1d20 plus one. We'll we'll fix it on the fly with Otter even. All right. Well, you now you got to roll one d six. You got an eighteen, and this guy is a uh, fourteen again for his agility. With the bane or? Well, you got to roll your one d six first to see if you add or subtract. All right, so you subtract. All right, so you're at 17, but that still beats 14, so you're still going to do 4d6 damage. So go ahead and roll 4d6 again. It was 4, right? Yeah, 4d6. Yeah. Thirteen, okay. Not as good as the last one, but still pretty, pretty hefty. Okay. Who's next? Odin, I think. Fast or slow? 
turn? Uh, fast. All right. You want to step outside of uh, Archer there? You guys look like you're a two-headed ogre. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? All right. Uh, I will. Hold on. Shadow dart. How much damage would, did he take already? Uh, he just did 13 to him. Oh, yes. damn. Yeah, 13. So that's out of, out of what? 20. Does he have... Out of 20, okay. Yeah, he has 20 health. Uh, okay, okay, so I want to do Shadow Dart. Okay. And it's... Uh, that's shadow attack one. He uses my uh, my power. Um, a missile of inky darkness leaps from your hand. Make an intellect attack roll against the target's agility. Uh, okay. okay, so intellect attack. This was one of your. This is one of the spells you chose, correct? Yes. From shadow. Yes. Okay, I'm looking it up now. Shadow dart. All right. So attack the agility. Agility is 14, so you need to hit a 14 or higher. Uh, and then I have one advantage. One, uh, what one plus, button yeah. modifier? Okay. Yeah, yeah. One second. Okay, so, um, yeah, no no banes or boons here, so you can just roll straight 1d20. Yeah, 1d20, and then... Oh, are you serious? You got a 4. Ah. Yeah. Or you can use your fortune. If you want. I will use my fortune. You will, you said? Yeah, Okay. I will. So it's an automatic success, so you get to go ahead and deal... When is it? 1d... Or no. On a success, the target takes 2d6 damage. Oh, wow, makes a perception roll with three banes. Holy cow. So yeah, go ahead and do 2d6 damage. Man, I don't know why I was worried about this killing you guys. I designed this in two, entirely too weak. Seven. That's all it had left, didn't it? Yeah, 13 is 20. Yeah. He's dead. Oh, well, it cries. It didn't, it didn't, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Little ghosts on top of it. Of you it. can see that? Yeah. <laughs> How did, it's supposed to be invisible. Well, I, well. You guys can still see it, though, for real. That's weird. I right. don't see anything. All right, I moved it out of the room. That's why. But you guys can see this. Yeah, I don't see anything. So weird. I don't see anything either. Milk noodle hacks. Okay. Let me show you. I believe you. I know what it looks like. It's just you're not supposed to be able to see it when I use the invisibility like that. But it's okay. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, right. yeah, that's it's cute though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. It's hmm. in. Don't throw it. Wait. So I'm guessing that that disappeared. Oh yeah, that disappeared too. I can't freaking drain anyone's soul here. <laughs> okay. You can't even fire that fire an arrow. All right. What is this? It just loops around. I don't know. Does it? Okay, let's. I don't think so. Just oh, one room at a time. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there. just sit there, there at the entrance so that you can go to right through that little hall. I... All right. All right. Oh, okay. I see a door. Yep. Oh, yep. That looks like it's the exit this door is... then. This oh, is the other... yeah. Nice. It's the, it's the exit or the entrance. It depends on uh, if you have navigated correctly or not. <laughs> I don't yeah, remember. I, get up I think you. I think you did, but we'll see. I think this is the exit. Yep. The door is unlocked and open. You can go on out straight through if you want. Wait. Yeah. Wait. I need to put my explosives on here. Wait. We're on the other side, aren't? We? Oh, yeah. walk through the door and find out. Yeah. But this isn't where we went in. I know for yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the exit. This is the exit. He just said it. There's an entrance and an exit. Yeah, this is this is it. Yeah, walk through. You can walk through outside. Just walk straight through. 
Well, but do we want to be on this side of the structure? Do you yeah, need I mean, to block the passage? Blow up. Yeah, I need to blow up. Why would we want to blow up when we're on this side of the passage and we're locked here? We're not locked here. This is open world. <laughs> no, what uh, I understand. Ultrafire is saying, do you really want to blow up the passage behind you? But I don't... Wh where are you going? Let's answer that question. Where are you going right now? Well, I actually well, have no purpose to be out here. I was well, hoping... You sure? We didn't well, after... Well, after we blew up this... No, 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 no. The I... I don't blow up anything yet, this is what I'm saying, because we're on the other side of the passage now, so if we blow it up here, we can't go back. Why wouldn't we be able to go back? We can just go around it. Well, there's like a huge... We can't, maybe. Oh, yeah, we can't. you're mountain. right. Okay, before we blow it up, what shouldn't we go to um, that burial ground? Is it on this side? Yes. Yeah, well, let's visit right, so the burial ground before we blow it up. Idea. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I still need to blow this up. No, yeah, do, do, it do it after. Do it after because we can't. We'll do, yeah, we won't be able to get back. Don't do anything stupid, Archer. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need Better to take the dynamite away from Archer. No, you know, I have it. Okay. All right, so you're heading off to the, the burial ground slash. Yes. Um, okay. Yes. All right. So you walk out of the passage there, and the snow kind of sort of melts. The ground still stays rocky, and you come upon this. So this is where the Great War was fought. I see a bunch of blue light. Yeah, blue lightning. Yeah, lightning, not blue light. Those are two different things. There's a lot of goblins. So you can see here the battle line. The goblins have the fences set up and they're being attacked by just masses of... Can you see what they are from here? No, vaguely. Oh, okay. All right, well, you can move up if Very you want. Very vaguely. I'm moving up. All right. I mean, we have a story now that we have been sent by goblins from beyond this passage. Hey. So, we could try and speak to the goblins and well, see if we can provide oh, a as you get. Here. Why don't you come kind of close together where Odin is? You see? All right. So you can see the goblins are under a very heavy attack, and it's all pouring out of that giant circular portal-looking thing in the distance. They are all just, just seems to be coming in droves, and it's like a massive army pouring out, endless, and it just keeps coming. And the goblins are clearly not winning. We found the circle, guys. I think that's that's the circle. It's definitely it the circle. Like circle. A few silent whispers. I think we need to speak to one of the goblins here. Yeah. Tell so them we've been sent to. Ate them. Probably want to make our presence known in time. Hey, goblins. Alright, one of them just stops and turns around. What are you doing here? Peace! We've been sent from beyond the passage by your fellow goblins on the other side. He just kind of looks around. No time! We lose soon. Go away. If you retreat now, we can close the passage. He just kind of looks back. You see? Can't retreat. We'll collapse. Only goblins alive on the other side of mountain. Are Go you away. To make that sacrifice? He just sort of shrugs. Oh, you're not even gonna let him finish the sentence. <laughs> hmm. Do you. We want to try to help you. What's that? 
What is that tunnel of flame behind you? You can see there's a, a figure next to it casting it, yeah. spilling, spewing fire towards the goblins, killing goblins, and generally attacking. Goblin says, "Yeah, Undead hordes attack. You leave now. You die too. Mm. We want to we help. Yeah. I didn't hear what you said, Ultra. I mean, Alexander. Where did hordes come from? Still couldn't hear you. Where did they come from? They come He's from born. Circle, you dumb human. Look, you put here. Do you know what's beyond the Circle? More undead. They never stop coming. We did not put this here. Not matter now. By we, I meant we. Whoever put here. Undead not leaving. Undead still coming. You go warn everyone. We, well, we have to... Sail off the, the exit. Do you see any way we can? You, you asking the goblin or are you talking to, some, the, to them? Uh, talking we, to uh, Archer. Well, we went past it. We came out of it, actually. No, no, the... What are you talking about? Well, I'm, we gotta... talking, I'm talking about the uh, big circle thing. As yeah, so there's... Already. It, it yeah, does yeah. not look like you're gonna have to go through literally an army of undead just yeah, to get close yeah, to it. But I'm saying how how Archer thinks he's got to stop the undead from coming here. So, well, we gotta blow up the um passage way we just came out of. No, see that. Fuck! Well, I didn't song. ask that guy how to use the gem. You did. Well, you actually you did, you did yeah. Answer. No, but he didn't. Did I ask him? Yeah, you oh, said. Oh, yeah, I know. I did. I did ask him. Yeah. All right, but what exactly are you talking about, Archer? Do you want to blow up the big circle thing or the passage we've come through? The passage we came through. All right, but you don't want to blow it up from this side. I would of imagine. I don't. As you guys are talking, you okay. see the undead come up here and start attacking. Guys, we gotta leave now. Yeah, I think we gotta get out of here. Unless we would have a way to destroy that big circle. No, I don't no, see any purpose no, of no, us no, lingering no. We can't here. Know. Yeah, we, yeah, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Goblin I'm turns around as they on. as they approach. You go now, or are you stuck here, and undead get through. You well, go warn go other goblins. You go warn everyone. Undead coming. And then he runs off. We will burn Whoops. Everyone. That was my Sorry. Oh, I did? No, that oh, was my fault. Ah. That was my fault. We've he seen just... the danger you're facing here. We'll warn everyone from goblins to humans, from dwarves to necromancers, I guess. Goats. To goats. Where are you going, Odin? Oh, accident. Sorry. I was just exploring. So then you agreed that we abandon this place and warn the yep. others. We have to. We. I mean. I mean. We're gonna die otherwise. Yeah. Uh, the undead are definitely winning this fight, and again, you still see tons coming through that. Well, from that portal area, you can't see exactly where they're coming from, but you probably have a good idea. I forgot to change the music. Oh, uh, still, still fits though. Let's go and get back and blow up the passage. I see nothing else we can do here. By the way, when I but but, but wait, when I said be circle, I thought it would be like like a circle on the ground. Goblins aren't that good. Maybe yeah, probably... there is a circle on the ground. I wasn't expecting a star game. Well, there is, like, the Stonehenge thing. Yeah, I noticed. I yeah, don't think I... Yeah, don't think I noticed... Don't think I didn't notice, Torsten. 
Notice what? Stonehenge. Oh. Why the yeah. bloody um circle? No, Cluto, you're not um, off leaving your body, are you? Looking at things you're not supposed to. Uh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm not doing that. Busted! Busted! <laughs> I'm not I doing mean, that are, at all. Why there would are I... punishments now, right? Why would oh, I, uh, punishment is definitely that. coming. So, uh, what, what is your plan now? What's your plan? Uh, all right, we're going back. I'm going to and... give you about one minute to execute your plan now, since... We're going out. All right. All right. All right, you're running back the way you came, or heading back the way you yeah. came. All right, Odin's yeah. still here. Go, come on, Neil. Uh, the question she was asking about with the fire comes closer and looks like some kind of a uh, undead skeletal wizard, and brings his plume okay, of fire with him towards your direction. I'm running. All right. We're out. We're out. We're out. We can't go any further. 